had to bust out the upgraded camera for today's episode. Have you already? I thought you've been doing that, haven't you? Been uh, I do it for Zoom. Uh, for now Teams now because like, oh man, I hate I hate Microsoft products so much. Yep, worst. me too. But we have to use them. But yeah, I decided to bust out the. Uh, uh, I've been streaming with it, but I have I got to figure out how to do the. I got to get my green screen set up for my uh, webcam. So. That's what they are, Shanks. They're little donut holes. They look amazing, dude. They're, so They're delicious. Donut holes They're for delicious. what? From Duncan? No, intimate. Donut holes for what? Don't you know me, man? Come on. I don't know if I've intimate donut holes. There's. You know Entenmann's the brand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. make, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop I'm them. Sponsored by them. My father I'm, I'm would sponsored get. Sponsored by Entenmann's. He'd get. He wish. He would. He would always. He would like every once in a while come home with just like the regular chocolate frosted donut. Oh my god. I'm a. I'm Love a shareholder them. of Entenmann's just sheer, from sheer amount of purchases. Just from. Right. Right. I right, mean, exactly. you should be. <laughs> That's funny. I actually looked into buying shares in Jägermeister once because the amount I was drinking it. They're not a publicly <laughs> traded like, company, it, are they? Just, it just type of makes sense to own stock in that company. If I'm going to be thinking <laughs> that much funny. of it. There's nothing wrong with that, man. I got mo I got a lot of money tied up in weed stocks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the idiot still, only in GameStop. So, what are you going to do? No, you're not the only one. I'm, the I'm, I'm the idiot that refuses to get involved in NFTs while a lot of my friends are making money on, F I, on I NFTs. Also, I also. I don't also, understand NFTs, and I've been in, also, in part of crypto yeah. since 2012. So. You know I'm, what? I'm, I've been involved in crypto for ages. I don't think anyone really understands NFTs. I, I can tell think you what they're NFTs. meant to be understood. Okay, so I, I NFT, generally don't think they're meant to be. NFT. No, no, no. I, I'm, I, here's my here's my hot take on NFTs. I can't wait. So I love this man's hot take. NFTs are probably <laughs> one of the most ingenious marketing ploys slash scams i've ever seen in my entire it, it, life exactly exactly right? so like what it is 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 pixelated fucking image young people are okay so, so you have the stock market you have crypto and now you got nfts right stock market is for people that are more professional with their trading there's a lot more money to be made but it's hard to make money in that industry because of the people that have the monopolies like the stock trading companies uh, inside trading, blah, 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 all kinds of bullshit, right? Then you got crypto. Crypto's already like where a lot of younger people and older people are merging together and you're seeing like all these people that are, you know, kind of teaching the older ones, the older ones are getting in it and there's like crossing between stock market. NFT is straight up for fucking young people. It is these dumb shit. You're, they're making these like, like they're making these dumb shit logos on it. They're posting it on Snapchat. They're posting it on TikTok. They're making it look cool. And they're basically getting people to buy into these things that are extremely uneducated when it comes to investing their money in the real stock market. And it's just a fucking giant scam. Like it's a, it, there's no there's no weight in the product. Like it, at least with crypto, you know what it is. It's being built well, on that, a blockchain. That's the funny thing too is the way that it gets marketed. It's yeah. Like, oh, this this is for the artists. It's for the yeah, creator. They, they can finally do their thing. It's like this is bullshit. Dude. It's My the biggest. A, um, a loot box of an NFT, and he got like a rare one out of this fifty quid loot box. And some dude on the same day. Offered him ten thousand dollars for it. What? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? And, and Why? Honestly, and my brother but what is down, that? I nearly slapped him. I was like, like, "What are you doing?" It's a picture of a rocket, dude. Like <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone offered you ten grand for a picture of a rocket. Like, what should've, are you doing? You should have beat him you up. Take and it, took it, dude. You right. take the it. The trouble is, my brother's it. a lot bigger than me, and oh. he's like, <laughs> he's, he's, <laughs> like a semi, he's like a semi-professional Thai boxer. And wait, wait, he's, you're a big dude, aren't you? I'm like you're tall, dude, aren't you? I'm a big dude. Like I'm six foot. He walks around six foot two, six foot three. <laughs> Yo, the English he, are built he's differently. He's like, he's like my build. But he's muscular with it. Well, the I'm English are so funny. You motherfucker! Like you just drank for fourteen hours yesterday. You're six. You're six. Your brother's six. Four, whatever. I feel like y'all are just bigger humans, and we're fat in America. <laughs> you guys are just big. Yeah. So you, don't, you, don't, you know why? Because you don't have the intimates. Sell his rocket. It's, you don't have the donuts, yeah. man. Yes, we don't have them <laughs> intimates. But it is. That's funny. It's taller though. All right. You guys ready yeah. to go? So that was my hot take on NFTs. There, it's they're, a scam for the young dumb. people. I mean, I'll they're I'll dumb. make money off it if I can figure it out, but I can't it, figure it out. Dude, I, <laughs> I man, look, okay, I'll put you this way. So there's a girl in my office, right? This girl, I, I, sweet as can be, dumb as rocks, man. Like, just not a very bright person, right? But she's a great, per great human being. She is making thousands of dollars off of NFTs, 
and when I was talking with her about it, she's Hilarious. like, oh, yeah, so-and-so was all, was live on Snapchat the other day, and he said, buy this, and no, 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 so I bought, like, you know, X amount, and no, 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 I made, like, $2,000 off it. I'm like, I don't understand a word you just said to me. Like, yeah, you literally seriously. sound like you're, like, the way she explained it to me, I swear to God, I finally, I, I really felt like a boomer. Like, I legitimately oh, felt dude, like, yeah. Maybe now you're shit. the dumb one. Dude, I, wait, okay, one less. Yeah. I, you're, you're not wrong. Like, you're not wrong, dude. She don't sound that dumb to me. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, yeah. you know, like, it's that. that's the thing is, like, it's, it's. Dude, that reminds me. My fucking mother called me up when Doge was skyrocketing. And she goes, yeah. Dom, Dom, what's this? What's this dog thing I keep hearing about? <laughs> some of the girls, she works at a restaurant. She's like, some of the girls at the restaurant, they're making, like, a lot of money. I was like, Mom, if you're asking this question, you're already too late, hun. Yeah, you're already too late. <laughs> if you're asking this question, you're too. But it's just, Dom, what's this dog thing? Yeah, I need oh, to create, bless that woman. I need to. I need to look into NFTs, but I haven't had. No, any you time. know, hold on. Whoa, wait. We're missing a golden fucking opportunity here. We need to introduce the OG coin, right? The OG like coin. the OG Jesus NFT, Christ. and it could be like, I have like we have your... so many gifts of Dom smashing that. White it could be the, claw it could be the, the, the white claw on the head. It could be that. me stuffing a donut in my mouth. It could be Bash with the puppies. There's like, there's so boys. many. There's we money. could have Sh we could have Shanksy with a Budweiser head coming out of his face. I, I, I'm no, it. no, 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 no. Here we go. We got, we got, we got Shanksy with a Jägermeister and a bottle of something. What, what's, what's your other drink control? We got tequila and Jägermeister, and oh. he's just like, blah, just going to town on it. This Sorry, I got a little carried. I got a little carried away. This is great. This is great. Amazing. I love you all. This is awesome. Now it, this is this is how we podcast full time. This is how we do. Yeah. This. So you should have got that as the intro. That should have been the intro. That right should have been the intro. And I totally did. Get it. Although I could put it back in from Twitch. You could. You could. We'll you see. could. That's what she said. All right. Maybe I will put it back in as the intro because that is actually pretty good. What? The OG coin. The OG coin. All right. Here we go. Uh, Dom, I can hear you typing. Well. Good, do bad. I'm trying to promote us <laughs> in other channels. Sorry. Oh, Sorry. Well, there Forgive you go. Me. Okay, mute your mic. There you go. Okay, ready. Here we go. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the OG. Oh, oh my God. I, I'm going oh, to restart whoa, that. False start. I'm going to false start. False start. False start. start. That. False start that. I'm going to do that again. OG pie. You got it in blame my it head on, from the OG coin. Blame That's it on Ashy. Yeah. yeah. Listen, blame. Uh, I tell Mallory this every day. Just blame everything on me. Makes it, it makes everything Amen. easier. Anyway, here we go. Right. Take two. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Overachievers Gaming Podcast. I am your host, Vash, joined, as always, by the one and only, the kid Deli Meat himself, the Ashy Pastrami, as well as Chef, I'm too old for NFTs, Crondos. How is or it going? I'm a <laughs> chef, I'm a boomer Crondo. I'm a boomer I'm Crondo. <laughs> chef, I'm a boomer Crondo. If, you, if you're wondering what the hell we're talking about, you should go back to our, uh, our Twitch and watch the VOD, or actually, because it's only going to be live for a week or so, uh, on our YouTube channel, um, I post the entire thing from when we start streaming live onto YouTube. So you definitely should check that out based on what we're discussing. Uh, and joining us this week for our traditional end of the year, game of the year episode. This has become a, tra a tradition now, Shanksy. Is, is the is it one and only. If we've only done it twice. It well, is. now it's three times. Yeah, now it's three yeah. times. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's three three times. times. This is yeah, the third. Dude. This is the third one. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, this is their one. Yeah, yeah man. About I'm super hungover, lads. Like, no, it's like that. It's like that. It's like that. It's like that one night stand you had where you don't remember it, and you're like, they're like, yeah, don't you remember? It was like the, like two of the greatest nights of my life, and you're like, oh Which yeah, you yeah, and, it was, uh, and this is the third one, right? We just we just got we just got that by by Shanksy. Wow. Yeah. You know, it's okay if it was anyone else. I'd be one night shame afterwards, lads. It's gonna be the but walking shame. <laughs> <laughs> but it's you. I'll take it. I'll take it. So anyway, thanks for joining us this week, Shanksy. Or again for you know for the third time this year. So now let's yeah, give really it to him. Enjoyed, it's the second time. I really time. enjoyed the last uh, last two times so much that I thought. I'd yeah, come yeah. Back, you know, for the it's very memorable, it's right? A tradition. <laughs> we, we left a we left a it's a Christmas a huge tradition. impact on your life. So you, you know it, lads. You know it. Uh, where can people find you, Shanksy? Streaming or Twitch or whatever, Instagram, YouTube's. You predominantly, know, predominantly pubs. just on Twitch or YouTube or your local boozer at the bar. Local <laughs> boozer, pretty much. That's a but yeah, Shanksy on all the socials. That's it's, it's so not good. an odd person to find. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of, you can find us at uh, Instagram at uh, OG.podcast or Twitter's over cheapers P. Our website is OGpodcast.fm where you can get this episode and every episode where we're talking about video games, what we're playing, what we're looking forward to, and a little bit of gaming news. Okay. Wow. That's I've good. had I've had three cups of coffee this morning, so I'm very good right now. That was so. good. And I'm doing coffee uh 
without any cream or sugar. So I'm doing it straight because I'm trying to do intermittent fasting, and I realized that uh, yeah, technically that technically it's calories. Yeah, it breaks you fast. So anyway, yeah, it breaks fun. you fast. There's actually there's some school of thoughts that say uh, 50 calories in the morning is okay. So that would equal about a tablespoon of your yeah but i i can't i can't judge like i'm like inept when it comes to like milliliters whatever like i just don't know understand any of that stuff you know know how a tablespoon works all right yeah you usually just get a thing it looks like a (laughs) tablespoon you get your thing you put it in the tablespoon yeah but then it's like it it, it, it doesn't do anything for me then i'm like nine tablespoons in in the morning i'm just like whatever i just rather do it nothing i'd rather i'm an all or nothing kind of person so i just got it just just go what's this what's this intermittent fasting thing Shut the fuck up. Oh. That was funny. Anyway, that was funny. This year, this year, this episode, we are doing our game of the year episode, and that's something we do every year. We talk about like the games that were, uh, that are top ten games of twenty twenty one or whatever the year is that we're doing this. And, uh, but we're also going to just discuss uh, before we get into that. Uh, essentially, we're going to go through and list our top, uh, our bottom ten through six, and then we'll get into discussions of our top five and what we consider to be our game of the year. Uh, before we get into that, we're gonna we're gonna hit into uh, two categories, which is what is what was the the biggest disappointment for 2021, as well as what's most anticipated for 2022. But I guess we'll do the most anticipated after we're done the uh, game of the year stuff. So, anyway, Shangxi, since you are our guest this week, what is the biggest disappointment for 2021 for you? Oh man, there's been a lot of disappointments this year. In <laughs> yeah, I like, think there's it, more disappointments it, it's than, been a than, rough than year. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I really struggled coming up with a top ten. Like I haven't even got a top ten right now. I'm going to wing this the whole way through. I've got a list of games that I've played this year that I liked, but there's very few standout games. I'd say probably the biggest disappointment was was Outriders out this year. It was okay. out this year, yeah. Outriders for me then that was um yeah you took mine yeah that, that was bleak. That was really bleak. And they didn't let me in the content creator program, so screw them. <clears throat> screw they didn't them, let you do dude. creator program? Screw Why them. not? Nah, nah. They, all the, uh, they approached all the old Warframe partners and stuff like that. Um, loads of people they, they approached about the content creator program, apart from me. So I sent them an email. I was like, hey, I'd really like to get involved. They're like, yeah, we're full now. <laughs> I was like, all right, all right. We're full. I don't we're even want to play full. your game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that's pretty whack. Yeah, um, that's fair enough. I know I wanted to play that, uh, but I just never got into it, so I couldn't go for it. So, all right, Dom, what's your? Uh, well, I'll just pick. I'll, this is easy. I'll pick it back. I also it was also Outriders for me. I think. Um, I, I I mean I think I would say Cyberpunk if I played it, but I didn't play it. So did Cyberpunk know, come out last year? Yep. Oh, did it? Yeah, it came out December. Oh, okay, that's fair. It was it was so close to the beginning of the year. Um, yeah, Outrider. I I enjoyed it at first and then i was like oh okay this is it you know what i mean it it just didn't didn't resonate if you're gonna have a game with any kind of like loot or grind or whatever you at least gotta make it like returnable i guess like not returnable i don't know like you gotta give me the hook i have to i have to feel like there's a reason i'm gonna keep like doing these missions and like doing this and that and i thought the class system was okay but i also thought it was it wasn't as much as it could have been um I played the uh, like not the engine. It wasn't called engineer, but it's the one where you like laid down like your like your bio like weapons to shoot out. And yeah. I was like, okay, this is okay, I guess. Um, yeah, it was all right. Uh, it, it just also like I felt that there wasn't really that. I feel like this year wasn't that crazy in terms of releases. So it's not even like I didn't actually think Outriders was shit. I wasn't like, oh, this game fucking sucks. I just <laughs> I wasn't. If I had to pick my most disappointed game, it was it was that only. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally makes sense. Yeah. Chef? Man, I, I'm, like, struggling to figure out my biggest disappointment. Um, That's like, I, I, there I, really I, wasn't that like, many Okay, so I have, like, I have one, but it's also in my top ten. So it's, like, I feel like it's completely... <laughs> I think that's still okay. Yeah, it's still okay. Then it's going to be Resident Evil 8, like, easily. Um, and And for me personally, I think everybody knows that I wasn't really, like, in love with it. But it's a good game. It's just that... I was disappointed that it wasn't scary at all. Like it was just, it was just a fucking great game. So again, don't get uh, for the people out there that are like, you know, ah, he said it's a sad, it was a disappointment. So you don't know what you're talking about. It's like, nah, dude, thought it was a great game. Just like seven was ultra, seven was ultra creepy and like really had me on the edge of my seat. 
eight was a action thriller game where like it was basically um like they took the last of us and merged it with um yeah. resident evil and made a first person shooter out of it great and game that's, again that's but fair. just yeah wasn't really like and again it's in my top 10 but you know that's just because i fucking love resident evil 8 game, or resident evil games yeah likewise it's also in my top 10 uh biggest disappointment for me this year and this is like a big shock um, oh i already know what it's gonna be i already i have a feeling oh do you yeah uh-huh. Uh-huh. what is it is it battlefield it is battlefield yeah, yeah. Dude, i, I forgot it. about oh, i fucking do I it i forgot the game even came I out i do it i forgot the game even came out i can i change my answer <laughs> <laughs> you can if you really want to uh i it's just like the reason why it's my my biggest disappointment of the year is i was so hyped for battlefield i played the beta and i was like mm, this needs some this needs a lot more work this feels like an alpha and then yeah. i played uh i played the the you know the release beta whatever the like couple days before and it felt it was definitely better and, and i put probably another 20 30 hours into it playing with friends um and the game is phenomenal when you're playing with friends, you have a good time. But if you're just playing solo, like I play solo quite a bit, the game is fucking terrible uh, to play solo because it's just a running simulator, running <laughs> simulator for the most part. And I, and I actually just re- realized that I need to add another game into my top. Oh, wait, we fucked up. Yeah, we forgot one. Yeah, we, we totally f- forgot we, one. We, we, you know, we, it was so bad we forgot about that, it. That literally, that sentence yeah. just reminded I, me. So I, I have two. I yeah, have two I now. actually, I, I messed up. Collectively, yeah. New World. Collectively, New, New World. Is that what it is? Oh everyone? no! I knew that. No, I knew the game dude, was going to be a flop anyway. No, so. it wasn't. It was Avengers, dude. No, that came out last wait, wait, year. No, no, no. Wait, last Avengers year. Didn't come out it this came out in March. Year. Avengers was definitely last year, dude. It you, came out like, in March on the PS5. PC or something. It, it came out on oh, the PS5. Oh, that's yeah. dumb. But you okay. could, you could for, uh, you could technically rope it in because biggest disappointment, right, was the fact that they introduced Spider-Man, didn't have his own storyline, and it was basically <laughs> yeah, like. They had a cut you, scene. you actually you 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 ended up oh my god Jesus dumb <laughs> you and en- no you ended Charlie up being did. disappointed no Charlie you ended up being disappointed by New World overall overall oh. I mean I saw, I'm not playing it I st- like yeah I why started playing my... it too but I still thought it was okay it was fine but like I got, I'm just like it didn't push me to like log in I don't feel like there was you any game with with New World I feel okay. like they released it too fail. Um, as it's their first game and stuff like that. Someone get Ashy a calendar. <laughs> <laughs> this happened last year too. Yeah, wait, you know what? I will say this right now though. Like I am following what's going on in New World, and they, I will say, like for me personally, I thought it was a shit game to come out with. That's my personal opinion. Um, but their devs are actually like gung ho about improving the game, and that's one thing I can say is a step above anybody in the fucking Blizzard yeah. community right now so yeah. like that that i'll give them props for yeah. Yeah. yeah i mean it was just disappointment because i really i really wanted to love that game i really want to play it but i really felt no i mean i i when an mmo comes out and i'm like well, i want to play an mmo like i put yeah. like hundreds of hours into if not thousands of hours into guild wars 2 like i played that i played that game for over 10 years loved guild wars 2 i can always come back to it i just never really felt a drive and desire to go back to new world so yeah, but either good. way, Battlefield, my disappointment game of, of that. So, yeah, I feel which like is I actually want to talk. So I want to talk about New World real quick because I actually I enjoy. I'm not playing anymore, not because I don't want to. I just not playing anything. Well, that's not true. I'm not. I actually am playing. So I'm just I'm not playing anything right now, which is a lie because uh, I'm not playing anything else right now besides like one game. Um, I just don't have the time to to do it. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> I listen, guys. I have not been home in a long time. All right? <laughs> it is, it is. I don't know what is up from down. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm sorry. My timing is. And that's Ashley's biggest disappointment in video games was himself this year. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I'm just kidding. I'm just but kidding. What's his actually, free time? No, I'm not gonna say himself. Was his free time? There we go. That's yeah. that's a better. Yeah. So it's funny, regardless. But I, I actually. <laughs> so I think New World. I usually don't like fantasy mmos even though I, I did like go wars 2 but i almost wonder if i like go wars 2 because of you i don't know maybe i was i was biased oh that's cute that's cute you know uh but i i usually don't like fantasy mmos and i thought new world was good i think they built a really good world i think it was intricate i just uh, it, it just yeah i just uh, once i stopped uh, it, it's really like one of those things once i stopped there wasn't the motivation to get back exactly that was my problem yeah. too yeah yeah like once i took a minute to not play it i was like oh okay i'm done <laughs> you know this game is done no, no i think that's fair Cool. Yeah, I still see Outriders though. Okay. Yeah. All right. Before we get into the top ten, did you guys have? No, any... we didn't even. We didn't. 
we didn't do the uh, the, the big the most hype game for. We're gonna do that before. afterwards. We're yeah, gonna do yeah. it afterwards. Oh, okay, we're gonna do 2021. Okay. Then we're gonna say at the end what we're, we're most excited okay, for. Okay, okay, okay. Um, before we get into it, do you guys have any honorable mentions like like games that you wanted to put in your top ten but didn't get to? I don't even know if I have a top ten this year, dude. Dude, I'm not. I'm okay. I'm gonna agree with Shanksy. Like I sat down yesterday and I was like, okay, let me go over my list. And I spent a good like hour looking at the games. I, I did the same thing this morning. <laughs> I did not play that many games this year. Like it actually it shocks me. And it's not for a lack of me wanting to try different things out. It's just like I'm looking at the the, the titles that are coming out in 2022, and there's so many games I'm looking forward to. But this year was just like not that great. And 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 it's funny because my number two game was like I didn't even know it was coming out. You know, yeah. like I had no idea. Yeah. So well, I think and, we have to remember too. You know, with the pandemic in 2020, I'm sure a lot of things either got like hard pushed or like releases got changed or weird or, you know, 2021 was kind of a weird year all around because of what 2020 20 2020. Dude, what the fuck <laughs> is going on? You need to go smoke a bowl or something, man. What the fuck is going on? Hey, okay. I got, an honor, I got an honorable mention. So, like, honorable mention straight up. I didn't play these, but I've been watching streams of it. The Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon ones that just came out. I thought they, I think they look great. I'm sure that's probably in Dom's top ten. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> um, they looked great. Uh, there's another one that I that I had on my list, but I can't remember now. Oh, uh, Tales of Arise on the Switch. I didn't even know about this game. It's like a sick RPG game. It's part of the Tales series. I don't mm -hmm. know. It goes back like a long way back. Yeah. I haven't played it yet, but I actually just ordered it because I'm like really I, – I saw the – I was checking it out. I'm like, okay, this shit looks like it's right up my alley. Like, why have I not bought yeah. this yet? So, um, yeah, that was mine. I think okay. my honorable mentions are for games that have been out for a while, but they're still improving. You know, like patches and things like that. Warframe have just released a massive – massive addition to their quest that looks really good still not quite enough to get me back to the game escape from tarkov has just released like a, a voip mode in theirs which has changed the game entirely so probably like games that are still pushing even though they've been out for a while so eft yeah. and warframe would be like honorable mentions is he coming through low for you guys yeah shanks you can get your mic a little closer you're just yeah, your yeah. your your uh attack is ha is slightly lower so you're just i don't know if um, i don't know which mic this is using no, uh, it says your chat. Yeah, so you can just move it a little closer. You should be fine. Cool. Um, uh, yeah, uh, it's, I mean, you're. I saw a bunch of um, different updates for games coming out soon, like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Valhalla has a new update yeah. coming out yeah. soon. I was like, it's meant to be really good, that as well. Yeah, but it's Valhalla. But anyway, <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see what you happens. You spent like a hundred. You spent? Did you spend like hundred twenty hours? Hundred twenty hours in that game. Dude, get the fuck out of here. 120 hours in that game. Anyway, it's too much. <laughs> anyway, I have um, I have three games for me that are in my uh, honorable mentions. One is um, uh, Pokemon Unite, which was the MOBA game. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this was uh, King Arthur's uh, Knight's Tale, which is kind of like um, it's an RPG like RTS game for computer. Which I you know I'm a huge King Arthur fan. For anyone who doesn't know me, um, and Death Loop. Is, was in my oh that one what i you know what i have it <laughs> i haven't even played it yet i i really yeah. wanted to play it but um it's in my honorable mention because it looks good it's got a, gotten a lot of good reviews and i really wanted to play it but i tried to keep this to my list of games i've actually played this year that i was really looking forward to or that's in my top 10 of games i played but so like death was an honorable mention it looks good but it's just not um i just can't get it so you know what was the lowest rated game of the year, which is actually really surprising to me, was the Grand Theft Auto trilogy. Not the surprising. That had a ton of bugs though when that dropped. That I was guess like, they started refunding that and thing. It was that bad. Probably. Yeah. Really, that's yeah, crazy like, to me. For, for them to start refunding, like pretty much on day two, it was what it was to be unplayable. Damn, dude, that's in that's intense. Yeah. That's intense. But, all right, so well, um, wait, I have, I have a single honorable mention, I guess. Oh, um, here we go. Well, it's not a big deal. I, I think I think Marvel Future Revolution was good, but not good enough for me to care more. I think if I actually I think between New World and Marvel Future Revolution, I put them side by side. Like Fair I enough. enjoyed that game. Thought it was for a mobile game. I was like, wow, this is very well built. Um, really good graphics, like pretty intricate, but I just didn't. Once I was, it's the same thing. Once I was done, I was fucking done. Yeah, it felt too oh. button bashy for me. I was really excited about Future Revolution, but it yeah. just felt too button bashy for me. And I was like, yeah, and like nah. that's under. I mean, like that's kind of what those games are, and it's like I get it, um, but it was enough for me to care more, you know. 
So yeah. before we do this, can I show can I show you my new friend? You sure can. Uh, and then and, and while we're doing while you're doing that too, Chef uh, Shanky, can you just change? You're are you using the uh, Go XLR Mini or Go XLR app? Oh. Yeah. You have a chunky. This is Toby. Whoa. This is Toby. Pretty cat. He Who's does not Toby? look very happy right now. Who's Toby? Look at him. No, but is I mean, like, you? is he a new cat? Look at him. Do you have a new cat? Big ham boy. Uh, he's my mom's cat. Oh. Wow. I'm just I'm watching him for the next few weeks, and I'm kind of like I don't want to give him back to her now. Yeah, fair. <laughs> um, uh, Shanksy, just for your Go XLR, just change your um, uh, your mic attack down to like 180 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, no drums. Yeah, because it just it just keeps cutting in and out. So we just want to hear you. We want to hear you full on. All right, It'll be good. All right, so is with it that time, it is that time. So and then with stuff that, a donut in my face. Shove, shove a donut in your face. Shove a uh -huh. hole in your face. And yep. um, so with that, Shanksy, what are your bottom five games? So ten through six. What do you have? Ooh, Let's start okay. off with time number. 10. I only have five games. <laughs> Go with <laughs> Bio Mutant. Oh, I really want to play that game. Yeah, Bio Mutant was pretty cool. I'm going to start with that. Um, Aliens Fire Team. The Ascent. Are we just going through the, the top five? I want? Yeah, yeah, bottom, I'm just bottom five. Just, yeah. to, just to round yeah. them up. Uh, the yep. Ascent. Chernobylite, I really enjoyed. And Project Zomboid. Okay, okay. See, I, I, you know why I love having Shanksy on? Because this motherfucker, heard of games. this motherfucker plays like every game that ever comes out. He just like you know what I mean. Like you, you play games that I wouldn't even have like you if you had a gun to my head. Like tell me a, a random game right now. I wouldn't know. You just you know what I mean. You just have you play so many games. It's impressive. It's impressive. I mean you know you kind of do this for a living. I guess I, but, I like, do it for a living. Yeah. Once you're a variety streamer. I, it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, and, and I'm, it's impressive. That's all I'm saying. I'm, I'm complimenting you here. You uh, I've got 60 hours a week to fill in of random games. Like, yeah, I, I, I go. Your far schedule is 60 them. hours. Yeah, between 40 and 60 hours a week. Yeah, yeah. Okay. man's putting in work. That's Fair great, enough. but that's why we like having Shanksy on for exactly. our, our, at the end Absolutely. of the year. It's like, exactly. say, what games do we need to play now? Right. Of all the games that we played that we haven't heard of, <laughs> I forgot about the. We not know about. You know, you know, what I appreciate about Shanks Shanksy, and it, it, the reason I like Shanksy so much is, um, all right, let me let me just keep uh, you know fluffing you up here a little bit, buddy. Yeah, I was gonna um, say, man, I like this, I like this, this podcast this year. Yeah. You, uh, <laughs> well, no, you have you have I'm such a coming back next year. <laughs> For, for the second time, you gotta remember year. us this time. For the second time next year, you, yeah. you have you have um, <laughs> such an optimistic look on a lot of things, especially like video games. Like you're like usually pretty stoked to play a video game. It is just really funny though when you play a game you don't like because it's just like it's just it's the complete opposite. It's either like you love it or hate it. I feel like most times, yeah. but not like you're not like fuck this game. It's shitty. Blah blah blah. It's like yeah, it went for me. Went for me. You know. It, I don't know. It it it's it just a funny. It's just I, I a funny. I feel like too many creators and stuff just focus on the negative. And, and misery loves company. Oh, hundred totally. totally. percent. Totally. People start doing YouTube videos about totally. how much I hate this game and everything like that. I haven't got time in my life to yeah to get negged out by it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I haven't got time in my life to go, oh, well, this is terrible and that needs to be changed. It's not my game. I didn't Dude, develop for it. Sure. So for sure. For sure. I either like it or I don't. I'm done with it. hundred percent. Like, I feel you on that. Um, yeah. But great. Those are all, those are all awesome. So wait, so Shanksy now he's doing his like- and I are polar opposites. No, five through one? No, no, no. We're gonna, we're all going through to do the top, the bottom five. Then we'll, well so then I don't we'll have, I only have five games. Well, then you have okay. nothing for, okay. then you have nothing to contribute for this section. So it's fine. Nothing to input. Okay. <laughs> Chef, what are your what's ten through six for you? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I'll just give you guys. June I just doing I, this. I I I already I already know. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Ashy go ahead and dive in on this one, but I'm just gonna say Halo Infinite was my number ten only because I just your number ten. It. It's just because I ju I have I've played like two games of it, okay? But it's fucking awesome. All right, so it made okay. it into my top ten. I'll, all right, everything else I'll I spent more time on. Okay, I'll I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let I'm. I don't want to steal your thunder since you know you don't have five other games to talk about. Um, number nine for me, number nine is going to be Pokemon Snap. Great game. Um, you know, just not like nothing crazy, but it was great to like get ripped. And, you know, the girl I was dating at the take, time, we were just take like photos of Pokemon. taking photos and, you know, playing around. It's a great game. Uh, I found that was a great game to like chill on the couch and yeah, play, for with, sure. play with your significant other because you can just kind of like it's not there's no skill curve whatsoever other than like, oh, no, I didn't take a picture of this thing while it was bent over winking at me at the same time while tickling its butthole or something, you know, <laughs> what? And, uh, <laughs> that's the we thing. Still, are Pokemon we still talking about Pokemon. Here? <laughs> <laughs> well, he does we're live in about, Florida, so we're talking about Josh's love life. 
Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, anyways, um, <clears throat> moving on. So, number eight is going to be Endwalker Final Fantasy fourteen for me. Uh, the new okay. expansion that just came out. I am about like probably 12, 13 quests deep in the storyline, and it's actually really, really good. Uh, my best friend and I are playing through it together, so I think it's real. I'm really excited about it. Number seven for me, although th- <laughs> I was this is a stretch, but I spent so much damn time playing it, it had to go into my top 10 was WoW Classic Burning Crusade, like because that came out earlier this I was, year. I was curious and, if you were going to mention that. Yeah, I mean, I'm back playing it again, but I'm, oh, you I'm are. playing. I, well, I got invited into this guild that's like mm-hmm. one of the, it's a really big one, and mm-hmm. yeah, it's a lot more professional. I'm mm-hmm. really enjoying it. So um, we. Hey, you can, are, hey, you enjoy what you want to enjoy, baby. You know right? what, man? You know. You enjoy what you want to enjoy. I do, man. That's I love all that the matters. game. I'm a, I'm, all. I'm a heroin addict. What do you want from me? You That's know, all that matters. Fox. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, number six for me, moving on to talk less about my video game addiction with World of Warcraft, is going to be Pokemon Unite because your boy loves MOBAs and I also love Pokemon and this game was fire. And I could play it with my friends on, hey, Nintendo, you find this this year. I got two games on my list. That the only reason, the main reason they're on my list is because you guys pulled your head out of your ass after twenty fucking years and finally made games online. Like holy shit, it's fuck. It's amazing that they finally got with the trend. So, um, anyways, uh, yeah, that game was actually phenomenal. And right now, like they've added so many different champions to it that it's, I, I if I, I, I wasn't to play, I can't believe if I, I wasn't it. if I wasn't such a wow head. I mean, uh, uh, like a, a League of Legends. Like, because you know, I still play. It's, League is still probably one of my favorite games of all time. But Pokemon was really fun, and I implore anybody that's into a mo- if you like like the idea of playing Dota or League, but you find them to be too intense or serious, this is the MOBA for you. Yeah, that's why, that's like, why I've always said about Heroes of the Storm. Yeah, this this is this is like a cheeky version of a MOBA, and it's like <laughs> cheeky. Version. It is. It is. It's 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 not. I mean, like you know, as a jungler, like. Which is what I play in league. I mean, it's it's such a loose. There's I don't know, man. I I think it's a great game for anybody that wants to this, to try it out. You know, it's it's not that it's just, the learning curve is nowhere even close to the other mobas out there. Yeah. So, anyways, moving on. Cool. All right, I'll go through my top ten, uh, and then I'm gonna go. I, dogs are going nuts, Uh-oh. so I'll try to. I'll, I'll let Shanky take over for his number five Shanky? after that. Shanky. 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 Shanky take over. Shanky. 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 Um, yes, I misspoke. Anyway, so number 10 for me is Back for Blood. I uh, really enjoyed it, but um, I was just I played a couple of matches, did a couple of story stuff. I was just like, eh, it's not for me. Yeah, that was uh, it. Number nine, yeah. I'm also in the, uh, the the same boat with Chef. Halo Infinite is in there just because I played a couple of matches. It looks awesome, but I just didn't give it a, a ton of time to play, but I definitely see... Um, it just reminded me of like sitting at home playing the original Halo on my. Uh, I and mean, it also just came out. It too. literally just came out too. Yeah. Uh, number eight is Resident Evil Eight for me, which is ironic that it's number eight. Um, also, with a lot of the same stuff that Chef was talking about. Uh, I, I, as anyone knows me, I'm a huge um, um, you know, platinum trophy hunter. I just love oh, getting boy. trophies. And I just like I got to the very last one where you have to go through like the arcade mode in that game. And the, the fact that a Resident Evil game has an arcade mode, I'm just like, no, thank you, not not with that. Uh, number seven is uh, Marvel Future Revolution. I've just I'm back playing that game, and I think it's really fun. And I love um, like you know mobile uh, MMOs, and so I had a good time. And number six for me, you guys might forget that this actually came out, was uh, the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. It's number seven. No, me. I just never number six. Mass, Mass Effect. I love yeah, Mass same. Effect. I love Close Mass, Mass Effect. Effect head. Um, and I did a great job with it. Um, and I think I, I beat one. I'm like halfway through Mass Effect two. Uh, but I'm playing other games. Right Does it have now. all the Mass Effects? Yeah, and they redid one and two, and uh, like they did some stuff with like the Mako and all that sort of mm-hmm. stuff to make it actually better. Yeah, so. it's, it's never got a Mass Effect. It's fun. It's great. I love it. You didn't even, you didn't si- even, get, a, you didn't even get a ten games this year. That's true. Dude. That's true. <laughs> That's very I'm true. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't even think there was ten. I want to give you a big ass hug. There's I, worse. I was just the, joking. There's twenty twenty seven games on, my, spent, on my list this year. So. You, you got I'm into totally. Warhammer, so like Warhammer counts. Should be, like that should be one, number games. one for you. That's not. Yeah. So. All right. Uh, Shanks, <laughs> what's your number? If only I was allowed to 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 have that be. Oh God. Look at this. It does look bad. I can't. I can't wait to paint him. Once you're done, uh, tell us your number five, Shanks, and I'll be... All right, number five <laughs> is Chivalry 2. Ooh. Oh. Chivalry 2. I had a lot of fun with that. It's um, sword and shield, hack and slash, multiplayer, battle royale style game. 
just so much fun. Chivalry 2, really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's you, one of them you do like these kind of just, games. It's one of them games that you can just jump in. You know, like, you don't need a grind. You don't need to worry about yeah. anything like that. And if you get good at the game, you can really, like, you, when you're fighting someone that's good at the game, you can barely touch them. Dude, this but looks cool as shit. It's so cool, yeah, man. It is really cool. I think I've seen you play this. I really enjoyed it. I like, really enjoyed it. Siege warfare, like storming castles. And Let stuff. me ask you something: is the, is the combat style kind of similar to the way that uh, like a Dark Souls plays, or a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. I don't know if you ever like played Neo. a game called Mordhau. Um, you know what? It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah. similar to that. Wait, what was the game you said? Mordhau. Um, oh, you know what it looks like to me? What was that game where you you each were different melee factions throughout history? Was it just you know, with honor? Oh, that was... that's like a Dynasty Warriors or something, isn't it? No, not that. I think it was called. Honor or something? Oh, for honor. There's, for honor. There's for honor, yeah. It's, yeah, um, it looked a little bit like that. A little bit, a little bit. It's, it's a really good game. I'd really recommend anyone checking it out. It's on the Epic Store. Um, when when did this come fun. out this year? It's like yeah. February, I think. It was early in the year. I, dude, it's, dude, it's honestly hard to keep up with games that came out in the beginning of the year. That's that's you know that's the crazy thing about like video games in general is like I would love to play this and I have never I like have never seen anything about this. Yeah, Damn, it's it, only 30 it, it, bucks. it didn't get quite big. Yeah, it's like thirty bucks. It's, it's a great man. Buy. You know the thing that kills me, dude, is like there's so many games that got big that I just don't even think deserve to be big. But some kid played it on Twitch that's like popular, and it then it just blows up out of out of control. You know, it's advertising, Ben. Yeah, it is. Yep. It is. Yeah. So let's hear yours, Mr. Ashy. Your introduction to the wait. Uh, he gave all five already. No, no, no. We're gonna no, go one by five. one, all right? Number five, yeah. We're doing number oh, five, then we yeah. all do number four, then we all do three, yeah. two, one, whatever. Got it. Yeah. Uh, my number five is Fire Teams Elite, Alien, Aliens, Fire Team Elite. I need to try that. game. I need to try you, that you, game. You, too. you were hyping the that game. Up really big. The, so, well, here's the thing. When we talk about what, what would that, what would, you, what would you guys call that genre? The like zombie horde team, because it's the same thing. It's it's back for blood, World War Z. It's Left for Dead. That's what Fire Team Elite is. I think they're, I think they're like survival games, aren't they? I guess or, survival. Or, so the I think you'd call it like a horde shooter. I guess so. So like, I wasn't the biggest in for Left 4 Dead. I wasn't. I thought Back 4 Blood was okay. I think World War Z was actually a really good game Love because they, they did so good with the like the horde the, like, mechanic. Horde me yeah, yeah, it was just really good. But like, I'm not the biggest fan of those games. I play them just because like whatever. But the obviously I'm, I like sci-fi stuff in a lot of ways, and I think Fire Team. I guess I was called Fire Team. Fire Team, whatever. Um, was really good because, A, I love the Alien franchise. I think it's just a really good, like, bit of, of storytelling. And, B, I, th like, I, I liked it more because sci-fi stuff. And, see, I, I think it's a good game. It was a game that I could easily just, like, I'm bored. I'm going to just hop in, go through a level, and then be done. Like, I, I thought it was just genuinely a good time waster. It wasn't, like, the most crazy, like, well built, like, blah, blah, blah. It was just, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it enough that it definitely, I thought, I played enough where uh, I think it deserved the spot, you know? That's my number five. You only All played right. five games this year, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm lucky I even played five games this yeah. year. This is, like, this is such a busy year for me. I traveled more in this year than I have in my entire time producing, and it was during a fucking, a crazy year, so. Yeah. All right, cool. Jeff? All right. Number five, Mario Party Superstars. Ooh. I need to get it. I need to get it. It's yeah. the shit. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sure it's fun for as me. Hell. Okay, sure as, so a, as a 36 year old adult. Okay, okay, the, okay. So I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just give you like my favorite. Okay, so my my best friend and I, like, we're we have a lifelong rivalry in Mario Party. I mean, this stems back to N64 days where he would play Mario, I would play like donkey kong or bowser you know somebody because mm -hmm. you know fuck mario anyways um he played he, i swear i'm i'm convinced me, that like mario like what's i'm convinced uh, look i'm not talking about you what's... i'm talking about like like uh <laughs> <laughs> i'm talking that's, about that's like funny. like hey that's mario mario in in my opinion in all of these games that include mario he gets a hidden buff okay and in mario party he gets a fuckery buff where like he'll just always pull out some dumb shit on you that just really shouldn't happen to anybody else sure. anyways we're playing this game. We decided one afternoon, it was like a Saturday afternoon, where we wanted to play like a, a long game, you know. So we pl we pick like a like a twenty five turn game, which takes like two hours to play through. And my my friend, his his soon to be fiance, is like, um, you know, she she's into it, and now she's like gotten in on the shit talking, and like she's she's she, I mean, she keeps up really well with us, and it's amazing. I'm actually really I, I love it, but you know, so we're playing this two hour game, and it's like 
down to like turn 24 and she's in the lead and she's just i mean she's talking like copious amounts of shit to my friend and i can only imagine them sitting in the same room and i know him he's just he's just chill you know very stays very calm and do the last fucking turn of this game he lands on booze thing and he steals a star from her ends up winning the game and i swear dude i have never they actually got into like a real fight like dude, she mario, was mario, Kart, she mario was, party causes a she real was fight. so mad like she real was fight. so mad dude and i'm over here just laughing like i was i mean they're having a full-on brawl like dude, right in front of me and it was Dude, it, it was so good. Dude, the two board games that have caused the most real life arguments for me are Mario Party and Catan. Both of them, <laughs> I, like real, real ass arguments. Yeah, have been caused it, by both I, those games. It's heated, dude. Yeah. And and for so, so 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 for that very reason, like I find it to be highly entertaining, and the be the they they introduced the online play. Finally, thank you God, I appreciate it. You know, so that was my. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I pick that up. Right. I need to get it too. It's oh, we need to have body. a. Are you kidding me? We need to have an OG game do. and do it do live. That. Like yeah, that would be the way cool. to do it. That yeah. would be cool. We yeah, need to do that. I'm telling you, it's a lot. And you you can you can change the amounts of turns that are in the game. So I mean, you don't have to do a two hour game. You can do like a 30, 45 it's, minute it, game. I love like, that that exists. I love it. That is yeah. such a good. And they and they pulled the uh they pulled all of the games from previous uh, Mario Party games. And I mean, they have some new ones too. But they'll like actually tell you what the game it came from, and the boards oh, are all from previous cool. games. Yeah. So I thought it was really good. And great job, Mario Mario Party. Awesome. Yeah. All right. I love your enthusiasm for Mario Party. Talk. Number five <laughs> for it. me is Diablo 2 Resurrection. Ooh. Number five. Ooh. I just put a lot of time into that. Uh, I stopped pl playing it because um, I got I, I play on hardcore because I because once know, you get to hell it becomes stupid because it, yeah well not only that no not only that <laughs> but like, no ladder yeah yeah no the, the no ladder thing but the the thing that really, like really was an issue for me was just like the grind took so long and they didn't yeah. they in, they did this recently recently but it wasn't in there when I was playing it they didn't have the ability to do the slash player eight in in console. So Wait, could, they added it? They added it, yeah. So they added no. it. They added it like about a month ago, and I just I haven't been able to pick it up. Just I've just been super slammed with work and everything like that. So I'm gonna pick it back up this week. Hell yeah! I'm once glad I, you told me that. Once I finish with uh, Kingdom of MLR Re Reckoning, which is what I'm playing right now, and I'm ho super hooked on it. But anyway, um, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wonder what's gonna be this top three. Uh, that game didn't come out this year because I actually do my oh. research, unlike other people. Uh, oh, 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 that's not, that's not, is that, is that towards me? That's for me. That's for me. Okay. Although if I really wanted to, I could, I could say that. I can't wait for the number one game to have come out last year. I can't I wait, can't. dude. That happened I cannot one wait. time. I know. Not twice. Just got, we have it did not happen twice. It happened once. You literally just said today with Cyberpunk. Oh, but that is not a number one game. <laughs> But that yeah, was number one. That's that number was that number. We have to have to go back into the archives and look at that. Anyway, it wasn't. I didn't say it was number one. I said I, honorable mentions of bad games. Yeah. I thought it was. Shut the fuck up. Anyway. Keep going. Anyway, so <laughs> uh, I was just a big fan of uh, Diablo two. Like it was like the game for me growing up. So it was a big. Um, uh, I don't know. It was a big throwback for me. And it was really nice to see. Uh, but I, I'm very much looking forward to going back and playing it um, and finishing that game. I'm gonna try to platinum it, but it's gonna take. It's it's not a game. It's a game I have to chip away it, at. And I just play a couple, you know, a couple hours a week, and that's you know, and try to level up because trying to get ne level ninety nine on a hardcore character is yeah, fucking insane. insane. I think yeah, I've got takes... more hours in Diablo two than any other game. Like you? Oh yeah, I think out of all the games that I've played, I've probably you mean like regular Diablo two or in, resurrected? Yeah, regular, regular okay. Diablo yeah. two. Mm -hmm. I yeah. weren't that impressed with the resurrected. Like it really? Got me back, yeah, it got me back on the grind a little bit, but without a ladder. Um, I feel without, you. Without like a hardcore ladder, without something to aim for, like getting ninety nine is awesome. But what's the point if there's not a ladder? Um, with the server issues, like the constant yeah. crashing and stuff like that, it it enraged me to the point that I don't want to pick it back up. Yeah, I I one hundred percent played offline. I had to not play online whatsoever. So I played only off offline by myself as a necromancer. It's super fun. So and hardcore. So anyway, uh, Shanksy, what's your number four? Uh, I think I'm going to have to go with uh, Resident Evil Village. I know, okay. Uh, I know you guys have already mentioned it and stuff. I really liked it. I thought Village on the first playthrough, I think Resident Evil do a great job of changing the game for your next playthrough. I don't think any other franchise can quite do that. So you play Oh, you mean like when you one. beat the game and you... Yeah, like, they... you, like so you beat the game, you, you play through it the first time and it's a bit of a horror thing. There's some intense moments and stuff. And then 
once you beat the game, you get unlimited ammo for this crazy gun, and then you just run through like an arcade shooter, like Left for Dead style, or House of the Dead, I think the arcade shooter. Yeah, oh, yeah, House of the Dead was um, a great game, it, dude. What a fun arcade yeah, game. Yeah, man. Like, and it literally, you just go in there with unlimited ammo, shotgun, whatever you want, and just start going through it. You know what's hilarious about you You talking about Resident Evil and House of Dead? Uh, when the Switch, or not the Switch, when Nintendo Wii first came out, they had a Resident Evil style uh, House of Dead game where they had the, remember the old uh, Wii like rifle? Yeah. And you put the, yeah. the, the Wii remote in it. They had a Resident Evil House for Dead the style game. Series. It was yeah. so, yeah, it was, that was so, that was so fun. That was so, super that's, popular, it's funny you mentioned both of those at the same time. Yeah, I really enjoyed Village. I really enjoyed it. Like I put a lot of time into it. I thought the uh, I thought the characters were really cool. I thought it was a really good story, good gameplay. Yeah, and, there you uh, go. It's, all you it's need, funny. Baby. It's funny the thing you said about how Resident Evil does a good job. That was me with set, like every one of them, right? Because like if you beat uh, Resident Evil Two, uh, you get to play through it as Claire's scenario on the alternate side. Yeah. Then you can go through and you can play as Claire and then play the alternate version of what Leon's going through at the same time. And they reward you for like going through and beating all of those variants of it. And then you can go play as like one of the, like I think it's Hunk or whatever, like one of the guys that's like on the SWAT team that's kind of actually trying to steal the biohazard. Um, or the yeah, what's it called the t virus i guess i don't know sorry i'm resident evil nerd i was like making sure that i actually remembered but you're right shanksy that's one of the best I, I i there's very few games that get me to replay yeah. that through them and they're one of them I, I genuinely think they're a class above when it comes to replayability like they just yeah. change the game entirely for your second playthrough you, you know what it was in in seven I'm not, i don't mean to cut you off but like in seven you could like actually there was like a store that you could get things in from like mm -hmm. beating the game over and there over and over again well. there is in village yeah, yeah that's such a cool mechanic man yeah what did you think of the arcade mode uh shanksy at the end like the um the, le I thought the it was legendary fun for a little bit yeah i thought it was fun for a little bit i'm not a massive platinum hunter or anything like that so i got a couple of like a grades or s grades but you've got to get s on all of them, haven't you? Yeah, you gotta get like, S on all of them. Never gonna do that. Yeah, I, <laughs> but because you have to like do it perfectly, like you have to like time it perfectly and all that stuff. Like for some people, for like speedrunners, I'd say, you know that kind of makes sense. But like, I don't want to like have to like plan every single shot like and make sure like I hit this guy and then like I sprint up the stairs and I like, get this guy with like half a second left to shoot. You know, to spare yeah. it. and it's just like you've, re you've really got to speed run it. Like you've really got a. You've also got to try and line up headshots for multiple headshots. Yeah. Like one bullet, two headshots type thing. Yeah, it's super annoying. And uh, it, it's, it's tough. Yeah. Um, okay, Dom, number four. Uh, this game called The Rift Breaker. Oh, it I was, really wanted to play that. I it happened. finally came out. It's on Xbox Games Pass um, on PC. Um, it was a game I've been watching since it got announced. I don't know if it was two years ago or a year ago. It's been like in production forever. It's this European-based game development studio it's pretty much a mix of kind of like there's RTS elements. So you're building a base and you're mining material, like mineral, or would it be material? Whatever you would call it. You're mining resources. Stuff. Resources. Thank you so much. And then there's also a, a, almost like a horde like dungeon crawler mode where at certain times waves of enemies come at you and you have to like fortify your bases and there's different parts of the world you go to. So it's really fun, kind of like, kind of weird. Yeah, I, I don't know what genre you call, but it it it, it just I've been watching it for a while because I remember seeing it um, randomly get mentioned somewhere, and I like joined the Discord and you know kept up with the game. And then once they announced that it was gonna be Xbox Games Pass, like free for PC, I was like, oh, this is easy. Like, what an easy piece of thing. Uh, just super fun mechanics. It's weird. It's different. Um, you know, you're not building an army. You're not like like a traditional like StarCraft or something. You're not like building like a big, you know, army to go kill bases. You're on this like planet that you're trying to like move to from earth and earth is like, you know, dying and stuff like that. Um, classic trope. You're, and so you're finding another planet that'll, you know, ha like survive humanity. And so you're like looking on different parts of this planet for, you know, uh, survivability. There's like all these alien creatures that like come after you. And uh, it's just, it's just kind of like, it's, it's just fun. It's just like a fun little addicting thing. It, uh, you know, I haven't been able to beat it. It's actually kind of difficult because it's pretty intricate in, you know, you first get to the planet, there's, like, very basic minerals to mine, and then it just keeps going up from there of, like, the resources, and, like, the resources are not infinite. They're finite. So, like, you go to one part of the planet that has, like, this one resource that's specifically to power nuclear reactors, 
and you find all of that resource that you can find, but there's like a bunch of enemies on the bot. It's just like very uh, intricate in the way that it's built and how to build or how to generate resources off of what you find. Uh, super fun game. I really enjoy it. If you have uh, Xbox uh, Games Pass on PC, which I can't stress enough how great of a of a of a of a deal that is. The amount Such of games you it's Such insane. The amount of, it, on, that's like what's been saving I think Xbox in the last like year or so. Uh, if you have it. It's on there, and I, I give it a shot. It's weird, it's difficult, but it's fun. So, yeah, that's, that's my number four. Cool. Awesome. Chef? Uh, Well, we are just, we already talked about this one, but uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected was my number four. This um, is where it's always funny. It's always funny to see the overlapping of di who prioritize games in certain manners. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, this is, like, one of my favorite things, actually, about this this game, game of the year thing is because some people, like, you didn't like Resident Evil Village, and Shanksy over here is his number five, you know, it's a, or number four. So it's, like, very, it's interesting. <laughs> the, the, yeah, so <laughs> Diablo 2 Resurrected, I thought it was, like, the shit i mean I, for me i played it mostly on console because oh interesting I, well uh, funny funny thing so you you, you play diablo 2 you're held to keybinds on you know wherever you want on the keyboard right and when you select a skill with your keyboard you then still have to click the mouse button in order for it to go off right well on the ps5 i can map any button i want or any spell i want to different buttons on my controller so if i want to throw out a frozen orb over here and then start teleporting here. around i don't have to switch spells to be able to do it i just press different buttons yeah. on my controller i, I noticed that on the ps5 it, it was really good like as, as a yeah. and stuff like that or if you were trying to oh. teleport and cast and it was awesome yeah. like and you can't shit. do that like you can't no. do that in a normal diablo game like i can't no. have an oil on while teleporting and hammered in nope. at the same time like it was awesome it's it's kind of broken, and yeah, honestly, 100%, 100%, like as is. playing playing a sorceress and being able to like use telekinesis and then be able to teleport and then also throwing blizzards down and be and not okay. Uh, energy shield and frost armor. Like I can have all of these things. I can just press L one, L two, and I have both my art my shields on. I got telekinesis on R one. I got teleport on R two. I got lightning abilities here frost abilities here and i don't have to press anything to change my ability that's not how it is there's on actually PC a workaround for it on pc josh there uh, is yeah yeah it's just called getting good oh we got him <laughs> got him sad sad and i've never listen i i'm sorry i didn't i didn't want to do the burn <laughs> chef, i didn't want to do chef the burn leaves the chat <laughs> I didn't want. I'm sorry. You're the best. I that was. I just passed that. That was, that was a good one. That was, oh, that was a good one. Wow. That was a good okay. One. Okay. 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 But um. Anyways, hey, whatever uh, makes it easier. That's like. Yeah. True. I'm hey, playing. Man. I'm playing Halo with my Xbox controller on PC instead there of mouse keyboard. Like whatever. You know. It's. So uh. Man, I I you you totally uh threw me I'm off. I'm so on sorry. My, on my game I'm so here. sorry. I'm no, so it's sorry. okay. It's okay. Cause I'm I'm bad at I'm bad at uh, Diablo no, two not. apparently. No, not. I'm just kidding. Can uh, you be bad at Diablo two? I don't know if that. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yes, you can. Oh yeah, for sure, dude. Cause I'll tell you what. When I one of my uh, very 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 close friends, his brother is one of like the top speedrunners in the world with Diablo two. And when you watch him play it compared to me, yeah, oh, there can sure. be people that are yeah, very bad fair. at Diablo two. <laughs> that's fair. but um yeah but uh the other thing that sucks about <laughs> playing it on the console, Shanksy is the inventory management right that's like yes. that's the difference is I, I on noticed that as well it's horrible on, on like what i just talked about are all the advantages of playing it on the console but like the advantage on the pc is inventory management because let me tell you what that shit is infuriating on the console like i don't i won't even do it i just i just farm on my con on the console and then i log in on my pc to do all the inventory management. i was doing like exactly the same right it's kind of it's especially when you have to like transmute your gems together and stuff like oh that. And, forget like, it dude you just can't do it on your control. no it's a nightmare yeah. Either way, I'll hey man, I'll give I'll give credit to Blizzard. They they fucked up astronomically with the servers, but not, not at least <laughs> at least I can log in on the same character on my PC and the PS5. That, was that cool aspect I will give of them. Yeah, that was very cool. I wish I wish I'm I'm not going to buy it on PC. If it goes down if it goes on sale for like 15 bucks, I might buy it on PC. Uh, but I wasn't going to pay another $40 for it on PC when I've already bought it on PS5. But that I like that idea of, like, 
oh, it's it's cross save, so I can just play it on my PC, and then like, oh, but I, you know, want to hang out with my wife on the couch, and she's gonna read her book, and I'm just gonna like play a game, but we're hanging out, like um, she doesn't care, like as long as we're yeah. just together. That's what I love. Which is really, which is a new thing with uh, for Diablo two at least. Yeah, like, well, they did they started that with like Destiny two, I think, is when they started doing that when they went to PC, uh, having that ability, which is great, which I really like. There we go. That's my number four. All right. Num- my number four is Shanksy's number five. My number four is Chivalry two. I had I, uh, I have and I have Shanksy to right, blame man. and Go thank ahead, for that. So because it was such a good, uh, like I was watching you play it. And I played the original Chivalry and I loved the original one. And I watched you on a couple of your streams, Shanksy, of being like, "Hey, how do you think?" He's like, "Oh, it's great." And like some, I I was like, "All right, cool. I'll give it a try." I played this it. Fucking and like, fantasy I, nerd over here was I, like, "Oh my god, <laughs> fantasy!" <laughs> See, I literally I have, have I like swords. I have King Arthur like tattooed. I, I have an entire. I like King Arthur. King Arthur so. I know. There's nothing it's quite like funny. getting a massive sword and charging over the breach. And like, yeah, dude, we all get it. You like touching your massive awesome. sword and plunging awesome. it in other dudes, all right? Like, Damn straight, man. <laughs> plunging it in them. <laughs> Just hard, hard <laughs> straight through their head. <sighs> Wow, Whew. that was I good. Feel... That was good. Yeah, but yes, it was. I can't um... believe I've never heard of this game. You've never heard of it, really? Yeah. I had neither. It's so yeah. good. It's so you know good. What's funny? It's so much fun. I probably actually saw Shanksy playing yes, it. Yes, it's and I, just chalked, I just chalked it up to another fucking whatever. I was like, oh, it's some fucking dumb game. Shanksy playing. You know, I, don't <laughs> I, I there's so there's a, there's a clip that I have on my YouTube that I that I put on that I got this summer of just me like just like decimating you know, like kids with a, a catapult and all of a sudden this guy just gets in the catapult as i launch it and it just launches him over the over Dude, the wall that's funny i that's was really funny. dying laughing it was so fucking funny it was the funniest thing such I've, a I've good done. Game, it was man. such a fun it's it's the nice thing about it is there's a bunch of updates right now i haven't played it since the summer so i really need to get back into it uh, they added a couple more modes uh added a couple maps i want to say the Christ- there's a christmas update right now um, it doesn't take itself seriously, which is fantastic, which I yeah, love about it. And it, that it knows nice. that it's just like you're just having cheeky fun and it's cheeky. a lot of fun. And it's, it's just cheeky. like it's just it it's it's hard to like uh, it's it's like when you first play, it, you're like, oh, I don't like this. I don't I don't understand these mechanics. I don't understand how to swing the sword, how to do the combos. But then once you get it and it clicks for you, it's a lot of fun. Because you can just like you just wreck some kids, man. You just get up there, and you're just like you know, and you parry this, and just like line up. There's like two of them. You just line up, and you like spin your controller, and like and you just like, decapitate like three people in front of you. you. Dude, it's so much fun. How have I not played this game? You just you I, the, the way you just dude, summed it up is you like can chop okay. People's heads off, pick it up, and launch it at their mates. <laughs> yeah. you can pick that up was, their heads that and throw it. That's thing like I've the most. Heard you say. That's like the most. Uh, disrespectful thing you could possibly do to somebody in a pvp game like that's yeah. fucking amazing you launch their mate's head up. that's pretty funny can you can you put the head in the catapult and launch it back over the yeah, castle probably yeah yeah oh man how about i would love to do that and then like just like hap- just just be great if it just like launches over and just like lands in his homie's face just like dunk right on top of him oh man that's pretty funny that's so <laughs> good. i'm gonna have to check this out it's very it's very good they have sales on it all the time i think it's on sale right now for like holiday bundle for ps5 it's fun but i will say it is difficult to get started it is 100 percent. if you're not used to it it is hard to get fu- to get started with the game definitely take some time and learn the tutorial on how to play the game uh, and then do a couple of matches that are like, like kind of like whatever, just have fun with it. And once you learn, it's not fast paced whatsoever. You have to like time your swings and do other sort of stuff. I'm too fucking lazy for that. But That's it's too definitely, much fun. I don't, I don't have the but patience for all that shit. But you can me? still just jump in there and, and play and get you can. Like, into yeah. crazy fights. That's but fair. when you come ac- across someone that has actually learned the combos and can parry up, mate, you, you won't be able to touch them. Like, you know what's, you know what's the question I just realized? Good. You know what's the thing I just realized? How many of these games in Shang Chi's top ten are the ones he's sponsored by? And he's gonna like, clip all these and send it to his sponsors. <laughs> like, see, see, huh? He's just sitting there like looking at his phone bank account, like ching ching. Fantastic. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, Shang Chi, what's number three for you? Ooh, um, I'm gonna go with Guardians of the Galaxy. Ooh, oh, I forgot about that game. I'm gonna go with Guardians that. of the Galaxy. I thought that was absolutely awesome. Really, really fun playthrough. Um, the more that I played it, the more I started to enjoy it. When I first, I was like, "Oh, I don't know about this combat." Because it happens sometimes. I don't know about the characters, yeah, I don't that, know that about happens. The voice actors, and the more that I played it, the more I was like, "This is, this is just." Awesome. Yeah, no, that shit's that shit's real. Playthrough. That's definitely real. So, uh, yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy for me, it was it was one of them games that I felt a bit sad when I finished it. 
you know, I was like, oh man, like, because like, there wanted wasn't more? any replayability. Yeah, there wasn't yeah, any replayability. Really replay it, yeah. I'm not going to jump back into it. It's like playing through a film type thing. Yeah. But I had such a good time with it. Oh, but, yeah. yeah when, when, it, when it hit the end, I was like, oh man. Like, <laughs> oh. Feeling some shit. So, yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy for me was really cool. You go around, you get a bunch of um, different outfits. You know, you can customize your team to look the way you want them from all different comic books and stuff. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was a good game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Tom? Uh, my number three was Valheim. Did I come Wait, out last year? Yes, for in year? February. Yeah. Yes, I uh, made Valheim sure. Did come out this I year, made yeah. sure. It, it did come out this year? It came out in February. <laughs> it like, go fuck yourselves. It came out in February. Uh, it did. Are we sure? Yes, it yeah. fucking oh, came out in February. Hold on. 100%. Real time. We're doing this right it's now. In my, it's in my top three oh, as well. Like. All right, all right. Are you actually? I'm literally Googling it right now. All right, February 2nd, you are right. You're 100% correct. Just making Uh, sure. Uh, So I don't like those type of games, those like survival games. I don't like Minecraft. I'm sorry. Please don't fucking blow my DMs up. I don't like Minecraft. I'm not really into like. Minecraft's a dumbass game. Listen, listen, it's the most popular game every single year for a reason. You know what I mean? There's a reason for that. People play it. You know, I don't know like, what that reason is though. Like, I don't. I don't yeah, hey, really I'm not it into it. Like, I'm care. not into it. But like, dude, there are people that fucking love Minecraft. Yeah, love it. No, Hooch, Hooch just said it. It's because of kids. For it's sure, a kids game. Yeah, that doesn't is. that doesn't invalidate it. You know, there's still no. the most downloaded game for a reason. Like, but that's not like my that's not my jam. You know, I know a mad adult to like it, but that's not my jam. But like, Valheim did such a good job building this like super cool world that like, dude. There, like the first half of the year, or like since since it came out for like probably like four or five months of, of Valheim, or when it since it came out, I was glued to that game. Yeah, yeah. Likewise. I played the game too too much. Like, it, it, I and I I still look back I'm like, why did I do that? What what was it? Because right. because I'm just like it's not my thing, you know. But like building the ships, going off to like I you know what it was. I've never been into been into like like building shit and. <laughs> Like you could just go, you can go buck wild building buildings. It was, I don't You've know. Seen it, some of the stuff that dude, people have built on that dude. Like insane, they built like the Millennium insane. Falcon. We 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 <laughs> had like a cool little island going on for a bit where like we had some like really fun shit being built there. Like we had like like Vash built like a nice like generating like, like auto like, smelter like, kind of the thing. auto smelter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I forgot was, all about that. It was super fun. I, I we had a like, massive Viking longhouse. Like it literally yeah. looked like it was out of Valhalla. Yeah, like, yeah we had it. so we had awesome. like a big the island that we finally went to where um, it was we were just starting to get like all like the better resources and stuff. We had the giant sleeping house. We had a giant storage house. We had the auto smelting house. We had the dock for the ship. Like it was getting nice. Like and then. That is like I stopped playing around my birthday, and that's when I started getting too fucking busy to do things. And I was like, I don't have the time to dedicate because like, you could just hop in and do stuff if you want. But like, I wanted to like do stuff, you know. Yeah. And now they actually they updated now, right? Now they have the other world and stuff, or the other. I think they. I think it's like the new. There's new stuff they've, in it. They've had an update, but I think it's purely a cosmetic slash yeah, building update. Thing, I think. I could have swore that they added in the spider area because there was like so. a. Oh. Hmm. I think that I, I know there's updates due for it. Yeah. Um. I, I think it's House and Hearth that they've. Oh, Mistland. So well, Hellfire just said Mistlands is right. coming. Honestly, once Mistlands uh, uh, comes out, I'll probably I'll probably hop back in. I think that game deserves more playtime. I just want to I want to give it. I think what it deserves in terms of how much I want to play. I don't. It's not a. It's not like Fire Team for me where I'm just gonna hop in, play a minute, yeah. and hop out. I want to like play it. You know. Yeah. Me and, I, me and my stream team no life that man. We, dude, it's great. No life Valheim. It was such a good dude. game, such a good experience. Is that I your mean, number two? So many. It's my number one. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa! Spoiler whoa, alert! Whoa! Uh, whoa. Okay. Spoiler I, I, alert! I, I want to hear. Spoiler alert! I didn't. I did not see that coming. Okay. Well. Okay. So we'll, you hear from me. We'll hear it again from Jenksy. So we'll, we'll we'll keep keep the train going. Yeah. I told. I honestly completely forgot about that game. A hundred percent. It's not even in anywhere. You close. play a lot too, man. I did play a lot. I totally. You, forgot. Me and you play a lot together. Like we yeah, play that game a I, lot together. I still have all the the server data, so I'm I'm actually uh, over Christmas because um, I have off for like the next uh, week and a half. I'm actually I'm spinning up a home lab server at home, so I'll I'll put the, the. Will you be able to do it for free then? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll be able to spin it up and have it ready to go for. Oh um, shit. 
uh, and put it back online. So I'll do. Well, yeah, once Mistlands comes out, I'll play the shit out. Yeah, of Yeah, I mean, it, it cost me nothing because I have it all up and running for all. Oh, my, good. Because I remember you were doing stuff, an so. actual dedicated thing for it because it was just easier. It was yeah. like four dollars or something. Was I don't know. Yeah, like, I had I had something dedicated, but it was just got too costly because I had to like I couldn't. And run we it we just stopped playing Windows. Yeah, and we just yeah we just got busy. So you know. But anyway, um, sweet, wow. Josh, what's yours? Number three. Are we on number three? Number three. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I smoked. Um, RE8. Do you like weed or something? A little bit. Meathead. Hey, hey, it's my medicine. Thank you very much. Um, I uh, chose Resident Evil 8 okay. Village. Nice. So there we go. This is this. I today. will say that. Meta. Oh, this is weird. Very meta. The <laughs> the one playthrough that I did. Um, Probably my favorite part was is just collecting everything. I mm -hmm. thought that they, I, I'm a huge sucker for the. Uh, so they they kind of took like, I feel like they took seven and four and kind of merged them together, right? Because and then with a little bit of the Last of Us in there, like the the hordes of, uh, zombies or whatever they would they call them in this game. But, uh, I thought it I thought it was pretty cool the fact that there were like random item drops and you could kind of go around and farm a little bit and you know buy items and i loved the vet the 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 big the big guy that was the the vendor in this game it, it totally gave me vibes of the resident evil 4 guy and i, I thought he was just the shit you know because he'd always show up Wait, randomly and be was like, that the one that's like what are you buying what yeah you yeah that's he, yeah. so funny dude yeah there, yeah there was there was there was a dude he did like like forever ago when, when that game come out again resident evil 4 Oh, back in 2006? I remember there was, a, there was a funny, like, I don't know if it was E-Bomb World or whatever one of those older websites were, but a dude yeah. dressed up like him and would go to, go to, like, the supermarket and be like, what are you buying? What are you saying? Yeah. Like, like a creep. Everyone's like, what is wrong with you? No one got it, you know. So we uh, we kind of we kind of named him the same name as that. the... No problem. We, we named him the same name as the guy we used to buy our stuff from back in the day. You so, like, I was... Okay, with it, yeah. With, anyways, we used to buy with this guy, and his his name we used to call him McDonald's. So like That's we would so call funny, this guy dude. McDonald's, and he would show up randomly throughout the game and be like, "What are you buying?" and do dude, that, and like so we'd be funny. like, "Oh shit, it's McDonald's!" Like he just popped up in the most random places, you know. So anyways, same. I had the same vibe in eight with that because you know he would just like randomly roll out from behind a curtain or something and just be like, "Hey, you know." I don't, but that that was a that was a really good part. Um, my I will say one of the most disappointing things for me, and I don't know, Mr. Shanks, you can. You, what was the the lady Dimit Dimitrisu? I don't know yeah, yeah. her name, but Dimitrisu. that fight. I'm sorry, dude, but like that chick looked so badass, and she was the easiest boss in the game. Like I kind of, I, there were mini bosses that were harder than her. I, I for me personally, I, I found that to be a huge disappointment. But um, just because she was so like hyped up leading up to it and um i will i will say though that the point when you're playing on the hardest difficulty setting when you're going for the okay. platinum run um yeah. and you had that moment where like she uh the the fight changes by the way based on the difficulty oh uh, really yeah so the fight is uh, is changes and that part where she's like chasing after you like when you're in like the crypts and you have to like you, you get your hand cut off or whatever and you can't yeah do yeah Spoilers. she will one she will one shot you if she hits you so okay, you have to like okay. you actually have to like get around and do stuff so like if she if she hits you you're dead and it's just like okay and and there's other enemies that pop up that get in your way and you can't do anything about it so you actually you use the uh the other enemies that come through like the lichens or whatever it is to actually block yeah. her and she'll kill them as opposed to, and she like uh does the most thing. but anyway the, the harder difficulty on resident evil 8 uh adds different uh complexities to it which i totally forgot about until you just mentioned that so Yes, I did call out Chef for playing. You did call me out for playing on easy mode. <laughs> I got Ashley over here telling me to get good <laughs> no, at, at Diablo 2. I got Bash over here telling me I'm bad at Resident Evil 8. I, I, why do I podcast you guys, man? I'm kidding. I th hey, um, I think you're doing I'm a kidding. Job. No, no, no. So uh, I, I'm actually – I will be really interested to see what they do with Resident Evil 9 because, like, they've kind of established a new style of the game now, and – I'm wondering if they're going to walk it back to like the tank controls or if they'll like try something different again. But like, cause I mean, it feels like they're trying to like push the bar a little bit different every time and not make the same game, but stick with a kind of consistent vibe and feel I I'd be fine if they went back to either like four or seven or even like a resident evil two, like remake kind of, kind of, kind of thing. But, um, I'll be real interested to see what they do with nine. And I'm, and I'm also super interested to see where they're going to take the story. Cause they're kind of digging into like complete, completely different sections of the resident evil universe that like 
didn't exist in the other ones. And um, by the way, if anybody hasn't seen the new, uh, well, they they just did a Resident Evil two movie in the theaters. It was like Raccoon City or whatever. They did it a was, Resident Evil movie. Yeah, it was. They yeah, they I mean, actually this not, this not no 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 no. This isn't this isn't an animated movie. It's no? a, it's a live action. Yeah, no no, it's live yeah. action. I told you uh, it's didn't called know about Ra- it. it's it's called Raccoon City. It just came out like uh, it's interesting. So it's it's basically they and, we, and the the I'm sorry, like they I I don't know. I, the the person that plays Leon does not look anything like the character Leon, and it kind of bothers me a little bit. And I know why they did it, and it it just kind of. I, it Listen, didn't if it's not starring Mila Jovovich, I don't want to watch it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. If it's not starring Mila yeah. Jovovich, I don't no, want to watch it as but, um, movie. Anyways, the movie's, the movie's great. I thought they did a great job. It kind of doesn't really feel like kind of movie that should be released in theaters. It definitely should have been on like Netflix or something. But um, check it out if you're a Resident Evil fan. I will check it out. Didn't you know that was a thing? Yeah, so. it was pretty good. Uh, sweet. Awesome. My number three is Returnal. Nah, I, f- I knew you was gonna be oh, somewhere in your top ten. Too. Yeah, that game. Uh, I'm I am not a fan of um, uh, roguelike games whatsoever because it just makes me frustrated and super frustrated. Um, <laughs> but the fact that that was a PS5 uh, exclusive and it really took advantage of the PS5 mechanics and and you know how it does all the ray tracing and the higher fidelity graphics and everything like that, and also told a pretty cool cool story. I really dug the story in that game. Of just like the the anything that has to do with like what is perceptual, what's reality, like I'm you know, like stuck in my own mind, that sort of stuff is like very fascinating to me. Just from you know how I like to tell stories and everything like so, it like really resonated really well with me, and I really liked the weird shit that they did in that game, and um, it just re- I just really enjoyed it, and it was just it felt very Dark Soulsy um to me in the fact that like I was just. I, I it really had a lot of satisfaction when I finished a boss that I was just having so much trouble with because when you die you start over from the beginning of that level so I'm like fuck now I gotta like run through and do this stuff or even like there's like three sections of that game there's like you know three chapters and if like you're at the end of chapter three and you die you have to start all the way over from the beginning of the chapter one and that so I was like oh. Man. um and it was really challenging but when you beat it like you could beat it in like two hours if you really wanted to um, but, uh, the only thing that I really hated was like, you couldn't like pause the game and like pick up where you left off. Like if you want to play something else, like you're stuck playing Returnal. So like, I was just like in Returnal mode and just finished it. I didn't platinum in it because of the fact that there was too much RNG involved with it. And I just didn't care enough to, to go hunting for like 12 more hours, trying to find things that would just randomly show up or not on a specific run, which is just kind of frustrating, um, in and of itself. But uh, I definitely, I, I really wish that, like, if you bought, if you finished the game and beat the game, at the end, they'd give you, like, super, ch- like, make you a little bit more OP so you can have more fun with it. Uh, but they, they did not do that. But um, either way, I really enjoyed the mechanics of the game and was had, I had a lot of fun with it and um, very excited to, uh, I hope they come out, I think they're coming out with DLC for it, but I'm not sure. But I would, I would eventually I'll try to pick it back up and, try a platinum run because i don't have much left to do a platinum i think i have to like choose i'd like to find the true ending and the um uh and pick up some more um re- uh, collectibles but the collectible collectibles are completely randomized and where they show up so it's just it's you just get lucky or not and it's just like i don't like luck mechanics with regards to collectibles it just feels like cheating so just to get you to play the game more so yep um but that's it for me so anyway all right shanksy what's number two for you I'm really excited about this one. Salasta, Crown of the Magistar. What the fuck is that? Yep. No. Hey, none of you <laughs> not heard of that one, have you? No. I, I, I haven't heard of it. I was, I was so off on even just spelling it. Yeah, Salasta, Crown of the Magistar. That oh, looks cool. Um, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, they've got the, the D&D rule set they've, or partial of the rule set. Whoa. Um, a little bit like it Icewind Dow. It got me into CRPGs again in a massive way. It was oh. just an absolute joy to play through to the point where I was like, I really want to get involved in Dungeons and Dragons now. Well, like, I really want to play that type of tabletop oh, games. Dude, tons of fun. It's so, so, mm. so good, this game. And if you're anywhere near a fan of like Dungeons and Dragons or Icewind Dow or Baldur's Gate, you need to pick up this game. What is it called? Salasta. Salasta. S O L E S T A. I say that one more time. I can't. S O L E S T A. Solesta. Sol Esta. 
such a beautiful game. Really, really it looks cool. playing it, man. Really yeah, Dungeons, it. It. Dungeons and Dragons, if you play with the right people, can be a shitload of fun. Thanks, Thanks puppies, for that in the chat. So. Um, oh, free on Games Pass as well. Hellfire's just Dude, Games Pass is the fucking best. Dude. Games Pass is the best. I can't, like, I'm doing it right now. Get Games Pass. Everyone needs Games Pass. It is insane how much <laughs> free shit there is on it. Like, it's I true, love, man. It's I, such a good I deal. Love, it's such a good deal. I love how much you love the Games Pass, Dom. Dude, I'm telling I, you. I like it too. I was <laughs> not an Xbox fan. So. It, has no, it has nothing to do with me being a, an Xbox fan. It has to do with the fact that the games they put on it are almost too big for a, a like dude they have released the newest halo on it i i like you know what i'm saying like that's not just like oh here's fucking civ 2 you know like you know? <laughs> it's like oh here's our triple a game of the year this is a big deal <laughs> I couldn't think of it. Is your barometer of like a like a filler bullshit game? I couldn't think of anything. I couldn't think of But like, Sip Two Bullets is true. Like, that's like such a. I don't know. That was hilarious. Let's just talk about triple A games that were on Games Pass immediately day one. Back for Blood, Back Forza, for Blood, yeah. Halo, the new fucking Warhammer will be on it. Like, these are fuck. These are big games. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not- it's you know I'm you get saying. the regular version. It's like five bucks a month, and you have access to all a huge games library. And not being funny, Back from Blood was like sixty uh, bucks or seventy yeah. bucks or something. It, it, it was, was it was considered. It was crazy. You know, yeah. And it was free on Games Pass. And it was free on Games well, Pass. Well, so one, I, it's funny. I actually always get this argument all the fucking time. The the Discord name like a lot of my my buds that I play video games with. Whenever I say like oh it's free on Games Pass, they're like well it's technically not free. Like I guess. Semantically, I know it's technically not free. You're paying for a service oh, and getting yeah. something from it. Yeah. But with that being said, it's free on Games Pass. It's, free on Games it's Pass. on Games Pass. <laughs> it's free. You're not paying extra for it outside of your subscription. Sorry, Ultimate. Ga- oh, that's right. There's the Ultimate version, which gives you Games Pass between your console and your PC. And mm-hmm. like, that's, that's what you need for I think that might be actually 12, 12 or 15 bucks. Yeah. Team's I think you nothing, need that. For, but you're still getting um, so many games. Crazy game like that. Yeah. yeah. It's okay, much sorry. better than the PlayStation. I'll turn my plug it. down. I'm just looking at my Bing account because I'm a show for Microsoft just going like, bing, 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 bing. Getting you know. sponsored over there by Games Pass. Someone's, someone's I'm going to get like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that would be the dream, is that what you said? Sorry, I hijacked. Oh, shit. Uh, I hijacked for Games Pass. Uh, what'd you just do? No, no, no. It's just on Put the your stream. porn folders away. No, no, no. I just like, I'm trying to figure out why, like, I started to do the like download. Like anyone has porn folders anymore, no, no, you know? No, no one has that anymore. No, I tried to do the down, like start the download, and then all of a sudden my quality started to dissipate. I was like, ah, nope, stop, stop the That's stream. Funny. I need to like make sure it doesn't download. I'll, but I have it ready to go. I'm going to play it um, for sure. That, I just looking at the screenshots on it. Looks very much my style for like um, Divinity, Original Sin, Baldur's Gate, all that sort of stuff. Yep. Very much looking forward to that. Oh, yeah, okay. we're still about Celeste, right? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So great right, game. Cool. Chef number two. <laughs> Um, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, I totally. No, I no. no okay, we, we Dom. Listen, two. we no, made, no. We messed with Chef earlier. I want nope. Chef. You go. You go second. Nope. 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 We have oh, a, we have a structure. I'm super about my number two. Uh, mine is Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Ah, uh, how is that game? Please tell me. So there's a lot of people that have some some problems with it here and there. I'm not well, like a, of I'm course, not a, dude, because... I'm not a, but the problem is. So I'm not a hardcore Pokemon player. I enjoy Pokemon just for the nostalgia of it. Genuinely. Sure. I don't. I'm not in it to get to like get certain natures of Pokemon or go hard into PvP, like any of that shit. I'm in it just because it. I just want to play a fun game. And so far, every every morning I wake up and play Pokemon Diamond. It's like part of my morning routine now. Um, wait, I sound robotic. Yeah, it's on my it's my side because I started doing the download, so it's it's the it's the streaming aspect of the stream sounds robotic, but you won't be on the podcast. Wow, you fucking ding dong. I can't help um, it. I'm sorry. So it's a very it's a well made remake. It had I really enjoyed Diamond and Pearl, so I'm playing a game I really enjoyed as a kid in a more modern way. And um it's just that that's all like, there's no fluff to it. There's no like it's it just it's a well made game. I'm playing a lot of it. Probably one of the most games I played this year outside of like Valheim or something. Um it, it, it's just a fun it's a fun remake that's all i could say i like pokemon i like i like you know gotta catch them all etc etc um yeah that's that's it's i have no i have no like fluff to add to it you know what i mean can i show you something badass that i that i found this week please do oh tight oh og okay tight, cartridge tight, tight, in box tight, tight. with all the booklets and everything oh hell wow. yeah oh yeah right. and there's my pokemon oh, yellow right there wait there we go yeah we can see it 
There we go. I love Pokemon. I, I, that's the thing. But like, there are people that are very into the competitive aspect of Pokemon, which it is actually crazy to me that there's not more of an esport around competitive Pokemon because on like Twitch and streaming and stuff, it's huge. It's big. There are tournaments and stuff, but it's not like a fish. Nintendo's just not in esports. They, it, and it, it's kind of weird that they're not. Everything they do uh, in terms of like their competitive stuff is all third party from Smash to there's no Mario. It still blows my mind there's not competitive Mario Kart. I'm not even kidding you. How there isn't is beyond me. But no Pokemon, no Super Smash Brothers. It's all third party stuff. And I just don't get why they're, they haven't embraced esports. I don't know. But yeah, that's that's my whole thing. It's pretty easy. Purple rain, purple rain. I just thought it was a badass shirt. Thank it's you, great shirt. It's a great shirt. Um, Prince, so I'm next, Prince right? is the realist. Correct. Yeah. All right, so number two for me something. is going to be Ruined King, a League of Legends story. Right. Game is fucking I don't even know what that 10 is. out of 10, dude. Then why Bad is number, why at... is it not number one? Because that, because there was an even better game than oh, this that came out this year, in wow. my in my opinion. In Wait, my opinion. what is this game? It's it. Th you remember how earlier how I said there was a my, one of my favorite games that came out this year? I didn't even know it was supposed to come out. This is the one. So they straight up took so Riot is this right mobile? now. No, 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 no. No, it's yeah, not. It's, it's on it's, console. It's a. It's on console. Oh, interesting. So it's a fucking badass turn-based RPG. Okay. Uh, based around a story of a character called Diego, who is the ruined king, and um, you know they are taking characters from the League of Legends universe and telling a story about. I dude, it's just crazy. Like I, I, I you've everybody's already heard me talk about this because uh, you know I talked about it. I think like one or two pods ago. Um, the the game is just phenomenal. Like as a as a nerd for the League of Legends universe like this is the first time I, I've been able to like engage in storylines and like when I found out that like gangplank and misfortune or beefing with each other I had like no idea that this was happening and then like Ari's is crazy like there's like so many different like angles they took from this and they did such a great job of it and the, the best part about it is the fact that they're gonna make a shitload of games like this from different stories and I'm just like give me more you know like I have and I paid 30 bucks for the game and my best friend and I logged in like 60 hours each fucking great game dude like absolutely badass game apparently it's like a it's very similar to a, another game that came out called battle chasers i think and i like the way that it plays but um dude for me it was so much fun man so much fun i i enjoyed every second of it yeah. it's actually a kind of a challenging game too yeah i want to play that i def desperately want to play that i've seen a few streams of it it looks really good Dude, Shanksy, uh, you're and you're a variety streamer. Let me tell you that you don't need to know anything about like League of Legends, and you're gonna enjoy the shit out of it I because as a league, dude. Okay, okay. So then you'll then you then you'll then you'll thoroughly enjoy it because it's like it's so good, man. It's so good. They they did like these cool. They they didn't like go over the top with the animations of everything, and they kind of use like in some of like the cutscenes, they'll use this like like comic style approach you know where they're like they have these like big badass bold moments and then they'll like come down and like bring it into a different scene i thought it was just great but for a 30 dollar game psh, top have notch, you been man. watching the uh the league of legends anime arcane on Netflix? arcane that's yeah cool. yeah, yeah. I it's check that it's out as well. it's it, dude listen you know you don't even have to be into lead to to league it's if you're if you like just good animated series excellent because they don't they like there's so many different characters in the league i mean there's like 130 different characters or 140 different characters in the game right now but like they're telling these stories to people that if you don't know anything about it it's enough to where you don't need to know the hit mm. they're, they're telling the history of these characters basically and it's sick i need to check yeah, it out i'll wait for it to go on so. check it out yeah. yeah the the music the theatrics like every the animation like everything about it's really good Awesome. I know. I just I'm I'm I should be more into Riot Games just because my cousin works for them. So yeah, it's just like I really should be. Not only just he, if anyone missed that conversation before or that podcast, I think it was last year. Uh, my cousin yeah. is actually like the lead game designer for Legends of Runeterra. Like he created that yeah. game. So speaking of That's which, awesome. honorable mention, yeah. they they added some some features to Runeterra this year that were fucking awesome, man. They added a whole PVE kind of element to it, and dude. I, 
I said this earlier, and this is this is going to be my statement moving forward that Riot is going to take over as the king dick company in in the gaming industry for anything. Like they they they're taking their game studios and giving or they're giving their IP to like different game studios, and they're not going for this like approach of we need to sell a triple A title for seventy dollars and blow your tits off with like over the top graphics and crazy features it's like no nah, they make simple games that are awesome and, and tft runeterra league the ruined king like and they have another one they just tested out like just they're a oh, valorant's like blowing up it's huge right now it's like they're gonna be the best company moving forward blizzard's out riot's gonna take over all for it yeah all for it we need more competition Blizz blizzard's definitely done for like, oh yeah they're done for dude done for. done Awesome. Uh, was it me now for number two? Or do we skip yeah. Ashy? I can't remember. No, I, no he went. He did at first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number two for me, and it's probably no surprise to anyone else, Guardians of the Galaxy is my number two game of the year. Um, yeah. Which, uh, as a as a filmmaker and a storyteller, uh, I absolutely... the One of the things that loved, I loved about like uh, The Last of Us, The Last of Us Part Two, essentially all these games that make you feel immersed in the world is the fact that they have like banter and discussion and conversations between characters that make you feel more that you're just you're, you're doing more than playing a game you're experiencing a story and as somebody for me like i don't play games just for the fact of like you know just to shoot pull trigger whatever collect the, the collectible do whatever like i play games because of story and i fucking loved guardians of the galaxy um and i thought that the voice acting was like super uh interesting like they have all these like side quests and side you know conversations you can have with people you can get people's backstories about stuff i'm not a huge guardian of the galaxy comic book reader but it made me want to go and i started reading some of the original stuff like it made me want to go back and learn more about characters and, and do mm -hmm. things outside of the game anytime that something can make me go want to like explore something outside of the medium that has been this that it's been presented to me in is a winner in my opinion so and i know that's kind of like why they kind of give these ips out too because they want you to explore more stuff with it but i thought it was just phenomenal i loved like the i loved that there was like a perfect balance between like all the combat which kind of was i mean it was monotonous but like at the same time like it felt fresh it felt good like the end fights felt great even though it was like you're fighting the same enemies like throughout the entire game but still like they, they presented it in a way that was interesting thoughtful uh not just like hey here's a bunch of like you know 500 enemies go kill them all you know that sort of stuff they actually gave you like challenges trying to figure things out bosses boss fights were interesting uh new unique that sort of stuff so i really enjoyed that game uh in its in, in its entirety so um it was so it was such a good like you know as you were saying changing they gave you all different costumes and figuring things out and like mix them i would i was constantly mixing and matching costumes throughout the thing and i love the fact that the costume stayed during the cutscenes, which is yeah. great and like the dark horseman one was like super like super like i had that all on there i was like dark horseman. all of my guys with dark yeah horseman. i had that on cool skin i loved it but then like i did one like um with like i put that on rocket like as soon as i got it and i was like no this is super creepy i can't do this the golden eyes can't do it nope not doing it <laughs> so but it was definitely great yeah. but um yeah for me number two all right chancy we think we know we think we know what number one is for you well, so. I, I, I think, think i, I think have I an idea i think i gave it wait away. wait 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 no nah, i forgot never mind take a guess <laughs> just take a guess <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna uh, guess Lego is it Batman. Hello, Kitty yes. Island of Adventures. <sighs> oh, damn, uh, Valheim Batman was again? such a good game, man. Valheim was such a good game. Um, I played it with the stream team. We no lifed it for probably about a month. Um, we had our server up. We type of all fell into a bit of a role as well, where I was going out getting the loot because I'm a rat, and I'm one of the rat. guys was building, and the other guy was like like decorating the base. It was just such an enjoyable game that come out of nowhere sailing across the map like going into the different areas like honestly we've got a clip of when we went into the plains area the first time and this like goblin runs over to us and we all panic and start running away and one of them one of the guys was like um i'm gonna see if we can fight him and then, <laughs> then he just blows up yep. and like his bag yep. drops on the floor yep. and me and um no sympathy were crying Dude. The first like, time you find a fucking crying. goblin, it's the funniest. It's the funniest shit. 
Like it was the mosquitoes coming out of nowhere Dude. and they're bashing up the boat. Yep. You're like, what is this Dude, place? Th it's so funny. The first time you fight a troll, you're like, oh, this is pretty easy. And then you find a goblin mosquito and you're like, oh, this should be fine. And instant death. Yeah. The, yeah. The I remember I was sailing. I, I went, I came across a random island. And everyone in the stream was like, I was like, oh, there's goblins. And everyone, everyone in the stream was like, run, 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 yeah, run. Yeah, like, it was just like, like, like 30,000 chats there. at once about how to run. It was, it was so great. It was so much fun. Yeah. Although, to be fair, streaming it on Twitch, if one more person told me I could tame boars, I think I was going to ban them. Yeah. Like, literally, every two minutes. You know yeah. you can tame boars in this game? Oh, yeah. sexy, sexy. You know you can tame boars in this game? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I wish you did those ball. accents more often because or impersonations because that was very funny. Uh, uh, it's such a good game. Great man. game. Really, really one, enjoyed I, it. I, I, I'm telling you, once Mistlands comes out, I'm gonna dive back in. Like no yeah, doubt yeah, about I'll, it. I'll spin the server back out for sure. No doubt about it. All right, Dom. What's number one for you? Uh, so quite controversial in Warhammer? the said nope. community. Huh? What? Oh, he said Warhammer. I already knew. I know what this is gonna be. It's not. Does it count as a video game? Next oh. year, Total War Warhammer Three will be probably game of the year for me. Okay. Uh, no, but uh, Halo Infinite was my. Oh, number I, that's one. what I was gonna say. Yeah, I knew yeah. it was gonna be your number one. The yeah. campaign I find is <laughs> MSF for Ashley for sure. Yeah, Marvel definitely. Strike Force. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. I'm like the only person that quit Marvel Strike Force that that is says it's a bad game still. I'm like, oh, it's a, I think it's a good game. I think it's a shit game. That oh, game fucking game. sucks. It's a shit game. I'm actually gonna go uh, back and do and on January first. I'm gonna go back as like one year sober. What what's new and like do a complete God. thing just for clicks. I'm literally game shit. I'm literally doing it for clicks. I'm I, listen. I respect asked, all my friends who are you know make a living off that game. Still dope. I love it. I hope the game exists just so you keep have a living still. But fuck that game, and fuck those devs, and fuck that whole thing. Fuck all of it. This is but it did bring all of us together. So that's that's, that's the true. one thing we can't say about it. It's very um, true. But yeah, Halo Infinite's campaign. Okay, so here's the problem. Halo Infinite does have some problems right now. You know, they don't have co-op. Their um, their um, their servers were having trouble. There's like a weird thing about their playlists. Uh, there, there's definitely some problems right now with with Halo Infinite. That's for sure. Um, the Halo Five story was really bad, and the devs at Halo had a the writers had. You know, they had some work to do, you know what I mean? And I think they did it. And I think that Halo Infinite's campaign, which also free on Games Pass, by the way, everyone, one of the largest shooters of all time, is free if you have Games Pass. That is still what I'm saying is crazy. Um, Halo Infinite's campaign, I'm literally at the last mission right now. I'm, like, about to do boss fight to end the game. I tried to finish it this morning because I really wanted to before the before we coming in, but I just couldn't, didn't have the time. Uh, the game is wonderful. The story, the storytelling is wonderful. It's an, it's the first Halo. It's an open world Halo, which has never been a thing. It's always been a linear, uh, progressed gameplay. Were you guys so fucking smiling? Look in this chat. Look at me. What the fuck? <laughs> look at you guys. that keep saying, what, they, what the fuck are they saying in there? What's going on in there? And I do we're friends through rehab. Yeah. Okay. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. That's why yeah, we're yeah, smiling. Yeah. That's why we're giggling. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, listening to what you were saying. No, that's I just... funny. I'm it's really, really I really thought your 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 review of Halo Infinite is just hilarious. So that's why, that's why. I have exactly. I haven't actually done PvP yet, which has always been my biggest f fun thing of Halo. But that's where I hear the complaints really rack up is the PvP of Halo. It's just not it's just not living up to people's expectations. Again, ag again, but you mean, know, I'm sure these are people ha that are harder into multiplayer than I am, which yeah. I'm not. So that's fine. I get it. But from what I'm already hearing, the critiques are real. Like the playlist stuff is definitely you know real. Um, but yeah, Halo, I, I'm really enjoying it. The story's really good. Um, I'm really enjoying smacking up elites and brutes and grunts. Oh my god! Also, guys, the writing for the for the ban the banish for the baddies in it, the grunts, it's just so funny. It's so, like whoever wrote for all these little grunts deserves something because it is so funny. Like hearing the shit they say, like it's really good. Uh, I'll have to check it out. I can't believe I've not played it yet. Yeah, it's free, dude. It Game Pass, baby. Let's go. Games Pass, baby. Games Pass, baby. Let's go. I, I'm surprised you don't get that tattooed across your chest. Games Pass, baby. Yeah, it's true. Get that as a shirt, at least. Yeah. There you go. All right, Chef, what's number one for you? Number one is Lego going Batman. to be Lego Batman. Metroid Dread. Oh, yeah. I can't believe I've not played Metroid Dread yet. I don't know what you're doing with your life. Game's the shit. I can't believe I haven't played it yet. Game is the shit. I believe it. Not shit. It is it. 
the shit. Yeah, dude. It's, it's the, it's the crap, dude. side scroller Metroid game. I wish I liked side scrollers. I mean, y'all know everybody. Everybody, in the, uh, if there's one thing I hope I've I've instilled upon y'all is I'm a I'm a retro gamer at heart, mm -hmm. and this game was such a. It's like it's like Super Metroid, modernized, and they didn't go crazy with having to like come up with different ways to. I don't know, try to come up with new ideas for new mechanics and things like that. The game's perfect, honestly. 10 out of 10. Like, if you got a Switch and you liked Metroid and you are, and you like Metroid, get it. It's, not, it's worth every penny. I mean, no, it, it's not the first person version that they did on the Wii and GameCube and stuff that was fantastic. They went back to the old school 2D version, side scroller, like Vash was saying, and it is perfect like it is so much fun so much fun and it's huge the game's huge and like they really like dialed in on you know knowing that there's like the, that most people that play metroid are completionists and they really like they they tell you like in each area of the game how like what percentage you've collected of all the items and all that kind of stuff and it's that is a fantastic game man i i i can't say a negative thing about it honestly Negative. The only Ooh. negative thing is it's $60, and I wish video games were less expensive so I could buy more of them. That's fair. That's, that, that, I think that's fair. Yeah. Like, Switch games, to me, I feel weird spending $60 on Switch games. That's why I don't have that many. And most of the Switch games I have, I, I don't agree. play. I agree. But Mario Party, like, see, like Pokemon Snap, I can't believe I spent $60 on that game. But I did it because it's a Pokemon game, and I wanted, like, at the time I was dating a girl that wanted to play it, and I was like, you know, whatever. But in hindsight, I played it a couple times, and that's not worth it. Metroid Dread worth every penny. But yeah. All right. Not a, not a fan of side scrollers, <laughs> but I'll give it a go. Yeah, if you're not a fan of side scrollers, then it's not your thing, right? But I'm again, just like today, it's definitely not my thing. Definitely yeah, like like, like like for me, wow. like I, I I for me, like I fucking like one of my favorite games of all time is Super Metroid. Yeah, I also, I, I, that's, a big, that that's a big thing for me, too. That, that was also very surprising why I haven't done it, because I love Metroid. I, you know, oh, Metroid's like one of my so favorite good, man. series of games. It's, yeah, I have to do but it. See, that's the I thing. Will. We all have different tastes in games, right? And that's like, like, see, for me, I didn't even touch Valhalla, because to me, that's like, to me, it's a giant waste of time. Like, in my opinion. Like, but I know. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, or are you talking about Valheim? I'm sorry, Valheim. My bad. I, um, I knew, I knew, exa I knew exactly yeah. that's what you were talking about. Yeah. But, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, you had the problem talking at the beginning. I'm tailing off at the end. Dude, okay? I, so I like, constantly you know, have problems. I'm, I'm, hey, we're here. We're here to prop each other up. So, anyways, um, yeah, Metroid Dread. They write Hooch has it. The only negative thing about that is that it ended, which I still haven't beaten it yet. But it's oh, it's such a good game. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, my number one game is a PS5 exclusive. Battle for, and, Battle, and I, Battlefield 2014. No. And I had such a phenomenal time playing it. The mechanics in this, in this game were just out. It was just like outstanding. Like, I, 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 was had, I had to be convinced to buy this game. I was like, I don't want to play this game. It's just, it just seems dumb. I just like, why would I play this game? And it's my favorite game of the year. Platinumed it. Had such a good time with it. Oh my it. God, what the fuck Didn't is it? figured out was Ratchet and Clank ripped apart. Oh, okay. I really want to play okay. this. I really want to play it. I'm annoyed at myself. Phenomenal. It okay. is probably okay. like the best looking game of that I've ever played on a PS5. Um, it was so <laughs> it was so good and fun and like if continuing on with the the, the cinnamon the, the you know cinnamon the uh, synology uh, it was just very cheeky it was fun it was it like it was it didn't take itself seriously it was a ton of it just yeah. had a great action vibe I, I love the Ratchet and Clank series they've always just nailed it every single time insomniac just does a, ph a phenomenal type of uh, phenomenal game studio and they can they can do no wrong in my opinion so um and they strong. just um strong. like they have like the ability to do like you know performance it's 4k 60 or it can do best fidelity like I, I was constantly going back and forth between like full on 60 frames or just like 4k 30 with like higher better ray tracing all that stuff the game just looks incredible and I'm, I'm super stoked to see what they do in the future with other ratchet and clanks but like the um the riff mechanics was just like it, it was just bananas in my opinion and like they, they you know there's problems with the game but i thought like overall out out of everything i've played i just keep th going back and thinking to that um 
and, <laughs> and try it out. Um, it was so it was so good. It was so good. So that was it. Yeah, Ratchet and Clank is not my number oh, number one of the year. Damn, so. I'm like getting wrote lit today, up, today, lit up with these fucking. Yeah, I make today, one mistake man. and it's like, damn, on the fucking crew on the warpath. Amazing. Hey so. man, at least it's at least it's just calling you out for having a forgetful memory. At least you're not a shit gamer like apparently I am. I get, want the record to reflect. Wait, well, you know, at the same time, it wasn't easy. It was a it was an easy fun burn. Jeff, at least you had ten games on your top ten. That's also, true. at least you had ten games. Did you to, hey, hey uh, listen, you know, I did not play much video games this year. It's unfortunate, but at the same time, I've I found a new hobby that I very mm -hmm. much enjoy, so I won't apologize for it, you know. Perfectly fine. Just so. apologize to your bank account. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, 100%. You have so. no, you have no All idea. All right, so now now uh, that our, our top 10 games of the year are, are out there and known there, what's the number one game that you're oh, looking shit. forward to? For 2022, Shanksy. I have three. It's funny. I didn't have ten. I didn't have ten games. I had three that I'm looking forward to for next year. <laughs> All right, if you want to, like, you can say three. Yeah, if you I got want two. To, but... I got two for next year actually. Right. Shanksy, well, what's like the, the one or two games that you really um, looking forward to? Is it Elden Elden, Elden Rings or Elden ah! Scroll? Yeah, no, it's Elden not Elden. There's two different things. There's Elder Scrolls and there's Elden Ring, right? Elder Scrolls will not come out next year. No, yeah, but... Elden Ring. Though, Elden Ring. Is, yeah. Is oh yes. To... Tell me why? Um, why are you looking forward to this game? Because it looks really good. Oh. Yeah, I don't. I don't tend to look at too much in into the future when it comes to games because mm -hmm. I'm so fed yeah, up. You're definitely, you're definitely a man of the now. Yeah, like I'm so yeah, fed gosh, up of being yeah. let down and getting excited about it, and then like getting into the game and thinking this just I, I've overhyped myself. Oh, I do that sure. same like, thing, I'm man. I don't pre-order like games thing. anymore. I don't play. I don't pre-order games anymore for that exact reason. Yeah. So Elden Ring, I've I've watched a few trailers on it. Looks really good. Mm -hmm. Don't know much mm -hmm. about the game. Won't know too much about the game until I jump into it. Um, but from what I've seen of it, it's up my alleyway. Hell yeah. Nice. Yeah. Dom. Uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping Ragnarok comes out next year. Uh, God of War Ragnarok. I don't think it will. Oh. I think it's going to be 2023. Um, but it still hasn't been announced yet. I'm hoping, I'm very much hoping it's next year. Uh, but the two games that are definitely coming out next year that I'm very excited for are the new uh, Total War Warhammer 3. Uh, the RTS from Warhammer that is it's just a super fun game and now that I actually know Warhammer it makes it even more fun. Before it was just like what the fuck is this shit, you know? Um I mean uh Pokemon uh, Acreus. They're like kind of doing yes. this like take on like a an open world kind of Pokemon where Pokemon are roaming around and shit. It looks it looks yep. pretty it looks it's different and that's what I want, you know. Um it seems like they based that off of the last Pokemon in Sun and Moon, they had an open park area where Pokemon were just like roaming around and you can you see them going and then you go up and catch them. It, it kind of looks like that, just more fleshed out. So I think it's going to be good. I'm excited about it. I've always wanted an open world Pokemon game in VR. Right? I it's crazy like just, they haven't done like this I just yet. lose my life. It's crazy like they haven't done well, this yet. Well, it's, it, it's, they're having a lot of bug issues with it right now. I don't know if you've read that or not. Like, they, they did a, a play test of it recently and people were just like up in arms about some things. You know, of course, they were going to be. But they got some good feedback, and they have, they're going to be making some really good changes to it. So, but I, I I'm right there with you. I'm very excited about it. Jeff, what's one game you're looking forward to? Mm, well, if anybody knows me at all, they already know that I've probably blown off like 15 loads to Elden Ring. Like that game is going to be the ultimate shit. Like it is. Uh, you know, I think you. You know, what, J Josh, I think you could take a page out of Shanksy's book with probably l bringing down expectations a no, little bit. No, I don't even need to. I'm worried. Like, I'm worried. Know. I'm worried for you as all. That's all. That's no, all, buddy. From yeah. from from it, software. It's, from you're, software you're does a not dangerous path, dude. Nah, man. From from software doesn't know how to make a shit game. Like they're they're the only studio I've ever I've ever played. A, I've I've played all of their games pretty much, and I've I can tell you that there's well. <laughs> With the exception of one game that can lick my balls, which is called uh, Sekiro Shadows Die fucking 10 million times. Fuck that game. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> game. The only, game man. the only reason I'm saying that it's Fuck bad that is not because, yeah. Not, I'm not saying the game's bad because it's bad. I'm saying it's bad because I'm bad at it, and I wish I were good at That's it. A fucking That's a fucking tough game. That game is the truth. But, like, let me tell you that every game I've played from From Software, Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, uh, Demon Souls, Sekiro, Bloodborne, like I've never played a bad game from them. So, like that is I, look, the only thing that they could potentially screw up is the fact that this is an open world game compared to all the other ones which are like a pseudo open world, you know? Like it's it's it's, very, like, it's a linear open world. 
they're linear open world that's a good way of putting it so like i mean you progress linear but you can always backtrack and go where you know from here to there but um elden ring is going to be i've already i mean i've already watched so i've already watched uh this guy who's like a infamous dark Souls speedrunner uh distortion too he's already done a bunch of playthroughs of elden ring and i watched a bunch of the content and even he's like this game is amazing like he's a and that kid's a is one of those people that's like every game sucks you know kind of person so i'm I'm pretty excited to see what it's going to be all about the only the only thing that i will say that it could potentially be bad about it is how punishing it is you know because like if it's as punishing and brutal as Sekiro is then that could be a downfall but either way like i'm still going to play the crap out of it and um final fantasy origin story uh strangers of paradise i'm very excited about this game like it's an alternate it's not going to be a turn-based rpg it's going to be more of like a single player um you know beat em up kind of game for, for our final fantasy storyline so i'm pretty interested in it because it's going to be I'm, I'm assuming that the graphics are going to be out of this world it's gonna be on ps5 so i'm i'm pretty excited about it can we just talk real quick brought being messed up like three things in 2021 already and no one's shitting on him and you know all it takes is one for me to be like well i thought I you're not you're not a podcast host that's why yeah, yeah whatever also like your 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 ashy pistachi man like i have i have <laughs> just put, just stop. stop stop deflecting stop yeah stop you're deflecting. not wrong cool um i have uh two games that i'm well tech, i have a i have a, actually like four or five games but like the one actually like the game that i didn't think i was going to be excited for and i'm very hyped about um comes out in march and there's like a free um demo ish that you can play now on pc if you really want to um is tiny tina's wonderland I am very much a Borderlands fan, and it's you know, oh, I was like, wait, but hold on, what? Yeah, it's two K games. Um, essentially, they are Gearbox, I should say. Um, but Tiny Tina's Wonderland, they have like a demo that's out right now. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's out on um, I want to say it's Epic Games. So essentially, you can play um what they're proposing um for the next. It's not a demo of the entire game. It's like you can play the current classes set in that world essentially. So it's not like you don't have the new classes or anything of that nature. Nature. Um, but it's uh, right, I'll I'll queue it up on my screen so you can see where it is. But I think I'm pretty sure it's on there. Uh, I played it like I love Borderlands. I didn't think it's like oh whatever. I didn't oh, think about it. Borderlands is the bomb, dude. Um, but they're 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 adding like the ability to do spells and like the quests are fun and like the the you talk about like games that like just have a ton of like banter yeah. back and forth. That game is 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 amazing. Um, can I guess your next one? Sure. Gran Turismo Seven. Yes, it is. 100%. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I know my boy. That's yeah, right. Yeah, Gran Turismo is 100% um, uh, also there, the racing simulator. So I'll probably – we'll see. I, I got I to gotta figure out my streaming setup for my PS5 because for some reason I can't stream. I can't connect my PS5 to my um, Elgato HD for some reason. I can't – I just don't know why. I can't get it to work. So Yo, I'll have to another one. Oh, another one that's going to be badass. Which oh, one? Go ahead. No, no, oh, no, I was going to say uh, Horizon Forbidden West the sequel to horizon forbidden dawn that's going to be a sick game straight yes, up it will be my one that i'm excited about i don't even know if it's meant to release in 2022 or if it indeed it ever will but star citizen squadron 42 looks i just amazing i have star citizen installed i really want to i i played star citizen when it first came out and I have not yeah, been able to. Uh... It's still a little bit too buggy for me. Like I had to, I rage quit. I was, I was trying to farm <laughs> up for this ship. I was doing these bounties, and everything was just bugging out. Like at the end of the quest, it weren't working. And I was like, I'm done with this until they they drop a new patch. But I'm really excited about Star Citizen. If they carry on the way that they're going, it could potentially be the best game ever made. I yeah. love video games, man. Wait, uh, uh, Hooch was saying it's five bucks for um, that demo. I don't think it's a demo. It's, it's it calls itself a one-off, one-shot adventure. So it's 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 set in that world. It's it's not the same. So it's it's literally. I don't know if I can go to the page itself. So um, it's not a demo per se, but it's like it's still set in that world, and you still have like all the fantasy elements of it. So it's de is, is it worth five bucks? Absolutely, it's worth five bucks to play it. Hundred percent, definitely would recommend it um, if you can. Uh, I was not like. I was not expecting to like it. I was like, oh, cool. Um, 
but yeah, it's like it's right here. The Tiny Tina. Yeah, you're right. It is five dollars and whatnot. But I have it in my library because it was free one month. I get like the pop ups that said, "Hey, you can install this game for free" or something like that. I was like, "Oh, I'll give it a go. It's free, whatever." And I, it was last week, and I played it all weekend. It was great. So, um, it's definitely it's not it's it's you're playing the Borderland classes, the OG Borderland classes in it. So it's, there's no spell casting, none of that stuff. But you can play the old classic stuff. Um, yeah, I get the pop-ups all the time for that, so I, I I definitely missed it, but I wanted to give it a go. Um, that's fun. I definitely recommend. Definitely worth the five it's bucks been to play. Fun. It's been fun, boys. It's a good yeah. episode. Yeah, it's a long episode, so dang, an hour yeah. 42. So, shang thank you very much for coming on and uh, and continuing the tradition. The Thanks for having me row. for the third time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh for sure so um any where can people find you streaming all that fun stuff yeah find me on twitch uh shanksy find me on youtube again shanksy um and twitter shanksy again shanksy not a hard person to find not at all that's awesome uh thank you very much uh shanks always appreciate it and you can find us at instagram at og.podcast or twitter's overachievers p our website is ogpodcast.fn where you can get this episode and every episode where we talk about video games what we're playing what we're looking forward to a little bit of gaming news and then always stay frosty i don't know i don't know what i'm saying so all right all right uh see you all later thank you all very much for coming out uh until next time um we're not doing anything else for the rest of the year with the exception of once Dom goes see sees the next spider-man we're going to do a little og chat because i'm very excited to hear your your monday thoughts morning. Monday, monday morning monday matinee i can't wait awesome um, a.m seeing it alone very excited it's gonna yeah, be looking forward I, to that it's when you do it let me know and we can schedule the chat session because it's going to be amazing oh, yeah, we may wait. not do it live we may not do it live. It might just be a thing, but we'll have to yeah, see. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to spoil it for a lot of people. Get death if you believe, you can overachieve. Well, puppies, that's not so bad, you know. If you believe, you can overachieve. All right, I will keep that in my back pocket for next time. So anyway, see you all later. Uh, I'll be streaming later on today. So if anyone wants to come through, feel free. Otherwise, see you guys. My not not my What am I saying? That all right? Bye. <laughs> Holy shit. I love I love when you get towards the end and you you I'll be right back. You're, you're trying to get it. It's so funny. It's so funny. Uh, well, I this went a little longer than I anticipated, so I need to go start making some lunch because we're yeah, making likewise. some uh, scalloped risotto. So uh, that already takes a long time anyway. So that was good, man. Yeah. That was great. Thanks, Mrs. you're the best, dude. Right, Thanks, Thanks, always appreciate it. You guys having me. Really, I really look forward to these. So always enjoy dude. them. You're the fucking best. Thanks, Thanks dude. dude. Enjoy All right, everybody. 81k he spent on MSF. No, wait, who did? Who did? Thousand dollars, man. Wait, wait, who did? No, Remen. Remen. no, eighty-one thousand. I think, I think that's facts. I think that's. Wait, how did? Wait, how this number come about? Because he, he, because you can actually message support and ask them how much you spent. Yeah, some apparently some dude is like live streaming and he's interviewing people that are content creators in mobile games, and they basically disclose how much they are have have paid in total. And like they do like an old episode out of it. Like he talks about like what he spent his money on and what he, you know, like uh, as far as like pack, like it's a whole thing. Apparently that's, I mean, I, I caught like a, a blurb of what they Whoa. were basically like $81,000, you know, MSF. There you go. So there he has go. a session called whale confessions where people write to into MSF support to ask their total spent. Oh, wow! I actually want to watch this. I'm very, very surprised. I'm very curious. It's pretty brutal, that. dude. I'm sorry, man. I mean, well, I, no, I'm not gonna say anything negative. I mean, he's, that's how a man makes a living. So I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, exactly. it's a business hopefully expense. He, at that hopefully point. that, uh, yeah, hopefully that's that. Hopefully, what he's making is uh, in the green on that one. Oh, he but, definitely uh, is. 100%. I mean, like it only yeah. it has to be. I mean, the dude oh, but is... hell, he was a wow before he got into streaming. Lads. Yeah, let's have you, that oh, yeah, you're right. You're he right, you're he was right. a wow before, yeah. and then he started streaming. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, thanks, Shanksy. We'll see you in the in the new year. <laughs> Take it easy. Yeah, see you. We'll see, see you about in a this year. time next year. Yeah. All right, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. For for number two, right? Number two, three. But, whatever, yeah, number whatever three, it is. four. <laughs> whatever it is. See you later, guys. We're, all right. All right. See, you. see you guys later. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna take this. See who's streaming right now. We'll see what's up. Um, yeah, I got a piece. So all right, out. you do that. I gotta uh, get it. All right, I'm out. And then there was one. It's just me. This is weird. Um, who is streaming? Dines is streaming. We can go say hey, what's up to Dines. Or for Dinez, forever in my, whoever for a bit. I don't know who Monkus is. 
Hear my boy Vash's stream. You're right. I'm going to go eat first, and then I'm going to come back and stream. Um, I don't know what I'm going to play. I don't know what I'm going to play. I like. I could stream. Um, I don't know. Do I want to? Do I want to go DC? Uh, I mean, I ha it's 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 been up. It's, I've had it up today, so it's literally sitting all here. So, but I don't have anything else to do today, and because I was playing it earlier today, because um, that's why you heard the UI going on. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I might play some Battlefield if I can get it to work, or um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. You'll be sitting here playing New World. I I could always play New World. I haven't figured it out. I could like log in and see what's new in New World. But I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, uh, go say what's up, the Dines. Guardians. You want me to play Guardians? I've already beat Guardians. I don't know. We'll see. I'll just I'll 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 make it. Uh, we'll figure it out as we go. Um, I mean, I can queue. I can queue it up if you really want me to. We'll just just do whatever we want uh, with that. So. Uh, all right, go say what's up to Dines. We'll see you guys uh, later. I'll give myself about a half hour to eat some food, and then I'll be back in half an hour. So uh, pay attention to the OG chat streaming thing when it happens. So, All right, see you guys later. Cheers. Bye.